You're listening to the Major Pod Network, the only place where your favorite toy store, card shop, arcade, theme park, and arena are all on the same block. Scratch that major itch. Christmas. Listen up, slap nuts. You're watching the history of just toys of Bendham figures right here on the Major Pod Network. And you know what? Speaking of bendies, don't forget to order the My World bendies right here. Don't forget. Listen, hope everybody has a great Merry Christmas and uh, choke on that, slappies. Hey, this is the Master of the Worm, Scotty Juhati, and you're watching the history of Just Toys Bendems on the Major Pod Network. You know, not only is my Bendems so rare that I don't even have one, but I've never even seen one in person. So I have an idea. Maybe I should get a Major Bendy. But anyways, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. It's the Major Wrestling Figures Podcast, time to start the show. Talking figs and collectibles, here we are, let's go. Cardone is here to buy everything, bare minimum, Brian is thinking what to say. Smart Mark is ready to f*** the show. It's time to talk, let's go. What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to a very, very special edition. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Because it's the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, and today we're doing the complete history of Just Toys WWF Bendems. I am your host, the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, a.k.a. the Scotty Pippen of Wrestling Figure Collecting. And I am your host, always ready, Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the Thousand Dollar Broski, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of Wrestling Figure Collecting. Also your producer of the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, Dr. Silver Balls of Phil Jackson of Wrestling Figure Collecting. And this is one of my favorite toy lines of all time. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, boys. Let's let's right out the gate into it. These are not spectacular toys. <laughs> I would these have to are, disagree with you. These are, in my opinion, a super sentimental piece of professional wrestling figure history, is what I would say. Okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna completely disagree. Hit me. And I'm going to say they are one of, if not the most underrated and underappreciated sure, toy lines in history but i, I don't agree. think they're crap i mm, think I, we're listen, gonna get into some stuff today that is i will say the scale gets a little kabuki-ish but for what they are essentially bendable figures i think they're great i think they're very detailed cheap as hell very, line is as great. at a very affordable rate which at the time some places 199 i remember yeah. let's that's what i wanted to hit right off the bat here mark broski what are your first memories of bendums so well, series one, series one continuing the Hasbro line. I mean that. But you remember getting that, like buying series one in the stores? Absolutely, yes. So yeah. I remember uh, my dad coming home with series one. Um, I think I had just ruptured my appendix, so this I must have been like fifth grade. Some are going into sixth grade. Does that does that time people make sense? So like ninety five, yeah. yeah. summer ninety five, right? Yeah. Or like I think they series one is like. Available in stores like early ninety five in my no opinion. impossible no no because okay here's another let's get this out of the out of the way online in a lot of these videos and let let's give some plugs for some videos okay that that, that yeah we the plugged your plan that that guy made that really cool one where he cuts up a bendum and shows you the insides well, and that's, how they're made that, that's that's one of them let let's give him yeah. a little plug that his name right here uh, Knox Nerds the history of the WWF bendum toy line is up there also our good friend great video uh, and there's not a lot of views on it which is a damn yeah. shame no no yeah. but also. Um, Figure Collections has a history of just toys bendems. Mm -hmm. I think you should watch them both. Can we put them both in the the comments in the show notes? Sure. sure. Yeah, absolutely. I would, Check I would, down I would there. Love to, I would maybe love a to maybe them. a prerequisite before you're watching this. You get all the but juicy details about just sure. toys. Yeah. For sure. And I I definitely watch them both to get a little uh, reminder. But there's there's an error in both of them, and it's not their fault because this error is all over the internet. And I'm sure, guys, listen. I'm sure we're gonna make a couple of errors. So please yeah. call us out in the comments. Sure. But the the ba you've seen the photos. We can put it up right now. The bagged series one. The, the, the deco is slightly, slightly different. 
a lot of places, and I think it's because it was in the eBay auction incorrectly, that these were at WrestleMania 10. These were not at WrestleMania 10. It's WrestleMania 11. Just do the math. There's no way this is WrestleMania 10 because they come out, what, a year and a half later? No. They come out like six months later. Diesel's a, vehicle, a heater. There's no way they're making big babyface Diesel the star of the line at WrestleMania 10. These are WrestleMania 11. So I just you, want to get that honest, out of the way. I think you are correct, and I think Diesel is the smoking gun in the evidence of this, right? 100%. Bro. Yeah. I'm 100% correct because, we'll get into it later, I have the ring right i have the ring and the ring it has like the dates of when this these were all designed and it's a late 1994 so the idea that they got these made in in time for wrestlemania which is in like march yeah. april it's impossible so you're right misconception yeah. it was in hartford it's wrestlemania 11 the yeah. bagged bagged the uh, series 1 um and then eventually on shelves all right so Let's let's back it up a little bit. We're not going to do the complete history of the, of the whole company, but I think it is important. Mm, the sure. Just Toys starts in the late 80s, but at first they're called Twistables. And mm. and the WWF Benhams are not the first wrestling figures. In fact, they make WCW. They yes. make WCW. So there's it's basically everyone who's in Series 1 Galoob, plus an Ellie Gante. Mm. Which um, is not available in America. Not Amer- it's an Argentina exclusive, I believe. And, and funny enough, I actually, I don't think I had any WCW Bendems, but I had a ton of Star Wars Bendems that okay, I played that's, with. That's another thing I have that right was, here. That superseded the, that was before Power of the Force. And if you like Star Wars, which I was getting into because those THQ right. copies had come out. Right. And the only way to like satisfy Star my, Wars, yeah. my, my Star Wars markdom was to get these Bendems, that was it. Right, because that's the thing. Yeah. Star Wars was a dead brand at that point. I don't want to say yes. it was a dead brand, but it really Pretty, was. It was. It was deceased. Yeah. Right, like it, it wasn't in the theaters. There were no toys. The, the last movie was <laughs> the early 80s. Remember, I actually remember I had the Bendems and like I'd have to get books from the library about Star Wars and like read them <laughs> and stuff. That was like the only way to like be a mark for Star Wars, mm, which, but, is yeah. insane, which is an insane comment, you know, now. in 2021, right? But, yes. but, but, but just yeah. toys took the chance it was just banking on nostalgia and it paid off. And even when the power of the force figures came out, they still did very, very well with the star Wars brand, but it wasn't just star Wars. Or WCW. They had a lot of different brands. And that's what was so cool. Uh, a lot of Disney stuff, Marvel stuff. In fact, they made like so much money the year beauty and the beast came out because they had the rights to yeah. these beauty and the beast figures and just killed it that year. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. Which is a very interesting fact. Right. Which, I, which also I think you were getting to, but we didn't exactly say. You know, Hasbro and WWF, the agreement comes to an end, and Just Toy picks it up. So that's why. Well, that's that's a very important piece of the puzzle. Is that yes, WWF loses the license in 1994. Um, you know, there is that rumored, and it was supposed to come out in 1995. The Orange Card series never comes out. Uh, so these figures kind of pick up where that left off with the Diesel, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, and yes, of course, you're getting Doink, Razor, Brett, uh, you know, the characters you've had before. But it's that diesel, I think, that really drives this series and makes it a success right off the get. Yeah. yeah. I also think Babyface, Luger, Babyface, Doink, Babyface, right. Razor. It really literally is that yeah. missing set, you know, like For sure. the, or the, the, a lot of the pieces of the missing Hasbro set. I always found it interesting that it was all baby faces. So let's let's get into it. Series one. Let's get series one. Series one. The WWF champion at the time, Big Daddy Cool. Diesel. I this one for sure. Personal favorite. Now, what's great, and I'll throw up a picture right now. Mark will throw it up actually. These are pretty in scale with Hasbro's. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. And and let's also not forget that these aren't they they're not even the first WWF. Bendems made because LJN made the the Bendies. Yes. So like, it's not <laughs> an also, unfamiliar category in the wrestling figure space. I uh, we we also have to touch upon the false advertising of like twistable and bendable. Like these things, they bend, but just I mean, barely. Like hockey pucks. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can get you can get the arm up, but it yeah. comes like it it slowly comes down. Like yeah, you're in a submission, mean, not, the referee's raising your arm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, a little kid. You're playing with this, your imagination can run wild for sure, but this isn't like but, ar- listen, articulated it, by any means. Or, it, you know, it does the trick it's not, It's far from a stretch Armstrong, I'll tell you that. That is for sure. But uh, I, I love the Diesel. Now, this first series, 
Very cartoony. Um, Love yeah, it. Yeah, more though. so than the other right. ones. <clears throat> yes. Lex's face, it, for it, sure. They, they basically start out like this and just deteriorate over time and just get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller from series one. Well, well, I love series one. Let, let's, let's stick to the diesel and, and just point out everything about it because if, you know, this is why I say they're, they're underappreciated. You look at this, every figure has their name or their logo uh, in the back engraved. I don't know if you can see that it's if you're watching the video. Ta- it's it's their yep. signature. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you know, he's got the, the glove molded on. He's got the tassels coming down. Uh, even the back pockets. I, I love, love, love this. The, figure. the stamp also says '94 Titan Sports, by the way. Right. So that makes sense. That's when it, it starts. So yep. um, the packaging also is very, very cool. And, and one I think that's that, one of the things that really makes it stand out. The whole series. Right, and, and it stays yep. somewhat uniform throughout the time. Same size. You know, there's the artwork up the top, the 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 so, fake card, if you will, in the back, but with like a really cool art artist rendition and stuff that right. that eventually changes throughout the line but it's pretty cool pretty unique yeah, yeah. uh so so big daddy cool whether you're gonna collect all these bendoms or not you have to get this because you're not done playing with your hasbros mm. yes like you need this uh i don't know about you guys i was using the the black uh gear razor ramon as diesel so, so to now have diesel <laughs> i didn't do any of that like pretend shit i didn't like, either, like that yeah. you did yeah but so, did you did you bring the bendoms into your your fig fed Slightly, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And you say you think. I mean, you kind of pointed it out. You're not done playing with your Hasbro's because there's nothing else to play with. There is. Yes. There is no bone crunching action yet. So it really does bridge the gap for multiple years of adding new people to this fig fed that you have. Hundred so, percent, and and at, even, at least ninety five, most of ninety six. Right, and then even when they obviously they make the bone crunchers, the line continues. I don't think it thrives as much as it could have, but they're still making a lot of guys. They have a bro, deep, deep roster. We're, we're going to get into it. it. They just keep pumping them out, and it's like whatever it was quarterly, making a goddamn set. And there's, I'm sure there's going to be ones that people who are going to watch this video and go, what? You now, know? this is also, of course, pre-internet in the sense like pre-internet for the common person. I certainly didn't have internet now. So some people knew these were coming out. I had no clue. And the first Never. couple series, I had no clue either. Yeah. So to walk into a Toys R Us or a, a KB, uh, I remember Walgreens. one time. They, yeah, they, that, they was, that, that was another thing. Well, I remember yeah. Walgreens is where I, and KB were the main spots for my Bendum picking up. And actually, I meant to say this when I started and I asked you guys that question. I remember being on vacation with my family, and I didn't bring like any toys or I don't know. And then we like stopped at a Walgreens or something, and I scooped up a bunch of Bendums, and that's like what started the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I remember getting doink for sure and just being like, that's how it all started for me. There, there was one uh, day I went to, I, you know, mall rat. I would go to the mall all the time with my friends. And I went to KB and I got like a new set of bendoms. Like, oh my God. And then like later we went back to KB and there was another new set. I was like, what's going on? It was just like, they were, I guess they had like, you know, we're backed Back, up and putting that, stuff yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, I got two new sets in one day. Like what the yeah. hell's going on with this company? And why'd you go to the mall twice in one day? But no, no. I went to the it. mall once, but I was there so long that I went to KB twice. I would do just that. happen to go twice. Equally yeah. what strange, but all right. Yeah. What else you're there for <laughs> six hours hanging out. Yeah. You can only eat one hot dog. Yeah, yeah. how many Aunt Annie's can you have? Whatever. I, I will say this, too, about the, the <laughs> Big Fed. What I liked about it, you said it continued on even once you get the Bone Crunchers. So I'm doing the same thing. Okay, now we got like three sets of Bone Crunchers, but what's your Fig Fed there? Like, you know, 10 guys? Right, it's tough. So so now when you're looking at you multiple be very sets of Bendoms, all the Hasbros, and Galoobs... You got a hell of a fig fed. I preferred to play with that at that time because yeah. there's just more guys. When anyway. when Jax when Jax came out, I was mortified that they were like five or six inches. I'm like, what? Like you yes. can't, oh, dude, I was, you can't use them with the other com- guys. I was complete opposite though. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I wanted bigger toys. Anyway, let's keep moving on here. Yeah. How All about right, who's next? How about Doink the Clown, who to me. The big difference for this, this is Ray Apollo. This is clearly babyface doink. Yeah, babyface Ray Apollo doink, not Matt Bourne like mm-hmm. your Hasbro, which I think um, is, should be said. I, I love it again. Uh, I wonder who's so toyetic on the back. Uh, ooh, I bet it is the it's the Matt Bourne signature because that's what they probably had in the artwork files. Right. You know what I mean? Interesting. That is a good point. Yeah, uh, I even like it. The, the the hair is is like Ray Apollo ish. 
you know, not Rhea Paul's more, hair, more, but the, more, more flowy, more, more like straightish as opposed yeah. to the curls. Yes. Um, I mean, listen, these are so toyetic. It was such a great idea to go with all strictly baby face, in my opinion. Not the best if you're doing a fig fed with just bendums. Yeah, but you're just some heel face. Dude, turns, you're but, talking a two ninety nine thing. You're trying to catch a kid's eye in a toy store. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I guess maybe they didn't know how many they were going to do. So let's 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 give them all bangers up front, you know? Kind of like now, what we did with Major Bendy's. There you go. All baby faces. That's right. Next, uh, how about All-American USA Lex Luger, which was like the only USA Lex Luger for years and years and years, which is kind of crazy. The um, face is ab- absurd. It's I like it, though. But the, so the smile che- is ridiculous. Just cheesing. I love it. I think these are very... Look, they're supposed to be cartoonish. I love like the tassels like, on the boots. I don't you know, think Lex Luger even smiled, so... He, uh, he, I would he, say if, he pouted through that whole uh, Lex Express run, but yeah, I saying. would say not quite tan enough, like my major bendy that I had to get fixed. <laughs> yeah, man, oh if God, you were in charge back real. then, this this Luger would have to be a little more tan. Yeah, I agree. but like, Diesel. these, like, not only is wrestling like comic book characters and cartoons brought to life, but I feel like these bendums are like comic book characters and cartoons brought into figure form. Like they look like it's a drawing lar- as a figure, larger than life. Yeah, that's yeah. What, I mean that's the idea of an action figure anyway. Until they, like they, honestly, until like modern figures, figures were always supposed to look like over the top, right? You know, now we have right. it's more where they're trying to go lifelike, but that was never like the idea. Um, how about I, oh the bad guy, Razor Ramon? Say hello to the bad guy. Would you have liked a uh, if he's got the ring and the chains? Wouldn't you just put the vest on and make him completely? Pre-match. I, I liked it because it was different than the Hasbro. Hasbro True. has the vest. I would have liked a little toothpick. You know what I'm that, saying? That would have been cool. He's very cartoony face. Very lines cartoony of what Mark said. Yeah. Uh, he's got the, the gray stubble. Uh, I, I, pretty, I, I loved it. I think great. it's fantastic. It's, yeah. a, it's well, let me a tell great, you this great figure. About the diesel and the and the razor. In my opinion, they look more like fake diesel and fake razor. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly. Razor, look, for, razor the, for sure. The diesel looks like Big Glenn. Come on. Look at the f- nose. Look at the schnoz. They're, um, they're cartoony. I definitely used the Bendham razor as fake razor in the fit. Because he had the razor Hasbro. So True. All right. I think the best figure of the set, and which most people say is Brett the Hitman Hart. Pink that, version. Well, that's, this is where we're going to get into it. Okay. It's hard to tell on your camera. I can't. Bro, I can't even. It's hard to tell yeah. in real life because here's no, the no, in real life it's drastic. See, okay, I on the internet there's the pink version and the purple version. I think there's three. I don't feel like I have. I feel like I'm missing one of the versions because my pink and purple they're different, but they're not drastically different. Like which okay. one is that holding in your hands? I'm pink. It's very, very neon bright pink, and this is like a dull purple. Okay, you, when I'm looking at yours, I clearly see the difference, right? Yes. Yeah. When, I don't know if you can see with my lighting. Mine don't really look that different. I yep. think you have two pinks, brother. I don't know, Ben. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, um, I can't see any I know. Between Mark is colorblind. Let's get that out, out, of, out of the way. So what What do you, like, the pink to me is the original release for sure. And then for whatever reason, because this Brett eventually gets released a million times. It comes with right. like. The ring set sometimes it comes in those grudge match two packs, just straight re release stuff, which we don't right. have to get into. But and then, ser- like, when the later shipments of series one, he's this dark, not exciting purplish color. Yeah, I, I, I don't quite remember which one uh comes first. I, I, I do like that he's got the, the shades, he's got the <laughs> you know, he's got the- I will say, he along the lines that everyone's uh, you know, likeness is very cartoony. This reminds me of Simpsons Brett. Mm. Right, but I like that they have like the Brett hair, like the stringy spaghetti hair, even in the front. Oh, that's you know, great. Yeah. and it's crazy that this shitty uh, sculpt from 1994 is still better than any Bret Hart scan that Mattel has done. <laughs> you know, touche. I wish they could have gave the uh, the skull heart thing on his chest a little more effort. Okay, but should we talk about what's? Do you have any Min on Card series ones like on you available, or you have them? They're hanging on my wall above me. Mm. So. Uh, Truth be told, when I finally redid this Bendham's collection, whatever it was last year, I got all of Series 1, and they came, and they were, like, case-fresh, beautiful. Oh, you can't and that packaging, it. like we just talked about, it was all just so, like, 
timeless. I was like, I right, can I open these? So I hung them up, and then I had to re get loose mm. like ones the you know damaged ones to open up and have these loosies. But on the back of the box, correct me if I'm wrong, and they show the ring. You really want me to go take this off the wall? Well, no, but we, we sh- <laughs> I'm, what I'm saying is I'm trying to segue. I think we need to go into this unreleased ring right here, right now. Sure, let's do it. Man, look at that thing. Here it is, baby. The unreleased Just Toys ring. There's a whole video on our YouTube channel where I unbox this. Uh, this is the prototype. It's resin. It it cost me a lot of money. But as you see, it's huge. I wish it's that's huge. what we got, man. Uh, yeah, it it would have been great. incredible. Um I don't even want to say, oh, I can see why they didn't make it. I don't because back in those days, like, they made play sets like this. This wouldn't have taken up that much shelf space. No, I mean, you know? no. Not, not, that's a modern day problem, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is incredible with all the WWF logos, the red, white, and blue. I would very, say. It's they're like the, very new gen, which I love. Very, very new gen. Yeah. But the best part about it, the best part about it, it was supposed to come with Dink. Which is crazy. Look at this, Dink the Clown. And it's, <laughs> it's half the size. God, that's uh, awesome. Right? Yeah. Like, it's incredible. Now, like, I knew, uh, we've seen this. Bro, my new major bendy comes with Dink. Oh, that's. <laughs> uh, <sighs> but what a coincidence. They're, they're, like, they're, they're, you can find drawings of this Dink the Clown online. And it wasn't something, as a kid, I just knew, oh, they didn't make the ring. The, 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 the ring on the back of the box doesn't show dink. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're right. So, yeah. so it's not until like the internet where I realize, or or maybe it was a WF magazine where they, they show photos from a, a toy fair where you can see the ring in the background and then like the dink is there or there's like toy fair catalogs where the dink is clearly there. So mm. I had no idea about this till later and I was like, well, I'm never going to get this dink. And then of course I find someone who has it. That's a whole nother story. But I needed it for my Just Toys collection. But what was so interesting is that when I got the uh, the ring, it came with the blueprints to the ring. Now that's not necessarily that interesting. I guess it is for us. I think it's I'm awesome. Gonna to, well, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to produce this ring now for the Major Bendy's line. So it's nice to have the the blueprints. You know wow. what I'm saying? Cheat and sheet. A little cheat sheet. But what's great is that if you read down downstairs, down on the side. It has like all like the dates of, of everything, and it includes you know it says nineteen ninety four, uh, and if you if the date is if I'm reading this correctly, November fifteenth nineteen ninety four, and I, I brought this up to Toy Attic Toys Matt Chappelle who sold me this ring. He says if you go watch the Raw from eleven fifteen ninety four, maybe D Freedom can help us out here. Everyone in Series One is on that Raw wearing this gear. pretty cool that's like yeah. that's cool to me yeah you know it's very saying? cool so i love that you know almost that's, 30 that's, years uh, later we're bill mckenna style like i'm sure like a just toys rep was there and took pictures of them and that was be all end all those reference shots look, look at this it's like so if you look at this up close you can see like the a sketch of how like the oh there's the ring and how the turnbuckle should look can you guys see that here yep, yep yeah yep, absolutely so wow. um, very cool what's what's even like so great about this is like okay this ring is so delicate like for instance, the the posts and the turnbuckles are connected, and they're connected to the ring. So, like, it was shipped so delicately that I couldn't send this off to get like three D printed. But they sent me a a produced like a sample of the turnbuckle with posts, so we could three D print this baby and have it ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then all we gotta do is follow the blueprints, or just make a goddamn rectangle, pop these in, get some <laughs> some ropes, and we're set. Wow. Right. You know, so this was worth the the six thousand bucks a load. What an investment piece! What yeah. an investment! So, it's just a shame that we never got this ring. We will talk about the other ring in a little bit, and that's just a pure like miscarriage Ooh. of justice. Well, yeah, we'll break it down. Yeah, let's get into series two. Oh, which, uh, I think before we, I think we need to do our favorite figure from each set. Let's do that. That's a little okay. Great idea. Uh, Diesel. Brett, period. Brett. 
Brett, pink Brett, though. Purple Brett is very uninspiring. I'm going with Diesel. How could Diesel not be the favorite? Yeah, you need I a mean, Diesel. First Diesel figure. Yeah, Absolutely need it. Brett's yep. the best there is, best there was, best there ever will be, guys. All right, All right. Series 2. Uh, along the lines of what we just alluded to, Series 2 of pictures eventually when the internet you know becomes a thing we find that photo that adam bomb was supposed to be in this set that would round it out to five guys which in my research for this i just realized got nixed because he left the company they go down to four guys and then the series never get five again it's just four all the way through it's four all the way through also how nuts uh, is that one two three kid different uh, Man on a Mission, complete Man on a Mission. Mabel turns into King Mabel, which is a good change. Which is so, I guess. Also, it should be said that originally everybody would have been all baby faces again. Again, yeah, right I, I, from the jump. But it doesn't come out that way, like you said. So Mabel, let's do Mabel first. He was painted up Man on the Mission style, but what we get, and I think the black uh, shirt underneath is what you know, and the mohawk actually hmm. is heel heel turn Mabel, King Mabel. Uh, it's great. First Mabel figure again. Can... Oh no! It actually says, "Oh my God, men on a mission." Mabel, Mo, and everybody's autographs on the back of this. What? Yeah. Oscar. That's the first. That's the first time I noticed that. Mabel, Mabel, Mo, Oscar. They just. That's nuts. Men on a mission. Mabel, Mo, Oscar. That oh my insane. God! I yeah. I'm today's years same, old. I realized that. No clue. So the cool thing about this Mabel is, you know, in series one, all the bodies are, you know, whatever, similar. They're not, they're obviously some different molds. They're and different, stuff, right? But this they're all is different, yeah. wildly different in that, you know, it's a it's a big man. It's got the weird big pants and stuff. It's so. But this, it has to be said that series two, the scale's already dwindling a little slightly. Scary. Yeah, it's because and, I mean, and Mabel is look not. At Brett. And Mabel is not as big as he should be. He's got he should, these he's not as heavy pants. as he should be. Yeah, he should be. You know, he should be wider for sure, for sure. I, uh, I do like the first time we get like that star is like bedazzled. You know that deco my, hit. Mine is not. Can you see? Whoa! Whoa! Mine has glitter in it. Clearly, you see that? Yep. Yes. Oh wow. baby. Today's oh year. What old. is going on here, folks? Oh boy! By the way, if you find that today's year's old shirt for sale, Major W. Yeah. Oh man. Um. Whoa. Who's next? Well, first off, Mabel, great dude, was on the roster with us when we started, and Big every time I think of him, every time I think of him, I, and I don't even know if Broski remembers this, we were like on tour, and we went to a strip club with him, and it was me, you, and him in a taxi, and one of us said like, "Hey, we were, weren't going to come, but we decided to come," and he goes, "Boys." Sleep when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, dude. There you go. All right. Uh, how about the guy who I always thought was so cool and toyetic throughout my adolescence, the British Bulldog, yeah. Davy so, Boy Smith. I, I love, hate this figure. I love it because it's the only figure in wrestling figure history of the British Bulldog where he in has the era. long hair. In this era, yes. yes. This is his return. This is obviously post-Braids, post-WCW, and now he's back. In the mid nineties, uh, he's got. Cool. The, if you if you look carefully, he's got the tassels on his boots. It's like you, they kind of blend in, so you don't really notice them. But he's got yeah. tassels on. Nah, the that's boots. cool. And he's another one. He's he's petite compared to. Yeah, the to size like, is yeah like next I to mean, Luger. Look, not great. Look, look at Razor. Yeah, towering over him already. So the scale uh, already two sets in the scale gets a little wacky. Yeah, but uh, to me at the time, I'm I'm playing with these guys with galoobs and also Astros. who cares? I'm staring at this. This was clearly supposed to be in bikers or something. Look at the cut. But yeah, I see that. But I don't remember him ever wearing bike. Oh, I guess he is does wear bikers. He does, does wear he? bikers. Yeah. But it, huh? Oh, that's interesting. It still works, so it, it's fine. But no, 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 it's fine. But. There, you know what There's I would no love deco, to call out? No deco at all. Yeah. You know what I would love to call out, too, as we get into this? One of my things that drove me nuts, I mean, it drives me nuts now, and, I, and as a kid, when you get a bend them and you open them, and they get those stains in the butt from being stuck to the package. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I just, I just oh, cleaned my, God. my uh, diesel off. Yeah, you like, try to get them off with pain. By the way, when I, I recollected these, lit- I, literally. Bought them, I bought them all mint on card, because who knows? Yeah. They were pretty cheap at the time, like reasonable. Ten dollars, twenty dollars for most of them on card. Yeah, they're they're starting to go up. Yes, I, 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 
you know, and I there's had a couple a that are we'll get into our astronomical. Right. Yeah, I, I had them as a kid. Then I got them all like mint when I was in my early twenties. Sold them all off, and about two or three years ago, I rebought them all. And a lot of them I got in a big lot, and they were filthy. But I gave them a good old fig bath and cleaned them off, and they're almost as good as new. Yeah, which you can do with LJNs. I would not submerge them because of the holes. Sorry, I'm already skipping ahead. Undertaker's next. Uh, I would. There's there's the holes. So I, don't, I don't know. I feel weird about submerging them, but you can clean them. And oh, they I, get full, I, clean. I fully submerge them, baby. Actually, you know what I did with the ones in this collection? I, I used Lysol wipes, actually, and like kind of scrubbed them really good. And they, they're all Yours have a really good shine to them. Yeah. <laughs> Is that yeah, a brand Brian? new one? <laughs> I know. I got, yeah. I just had to clean the stuff off his butt, so I definitely opened this one. All right, so my, my undertaker's a little dull. I can't believe this Mabel discovery you've already made here. But now listen, listen, I'm sure... This taker's a great one, and it's his only good Bendham, and he's got several. I also like this... I like Lord of Darkness, but the Undertaker, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. You're crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, only good Bendham. What I liked is a couple of things. One, it's the first figure of Undertaker in the purple. Uh, also, time, the yeah. first one with the tie. Also, first one... With no hat. Uh, no hat. Yeah. And then later, if you get, for instance, like Mark said, you get Series 1 jacks, and it's not enough guys of a fig fed, you take that hat, you put him on here, it's perfect. Oh, I did that. You just you know jogged saying? the memory. Yeah. <laughs> you know put that hat on. <laughs> oh, I've yeah. Never, okay. I, ne- I never did that, but wow, great call. Love it. Cool. Good figure. Really good figure. And rounding out the set, probably my favorite at the time, because I never had, growing up, the green card has, bro. One, two, three, kids. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, same here. I never had one, two, three, kid. Uh, so to get the one, two, three, kid was cool. And this, to me, is just like, man, like one, two, three, kid was so over. Yeah, you know, especially like young two. kids like loved him. Yeah, you know. This was my first uh, custom. Bought this okay. for one ninety nine at Walgreens. Immediately took it back to Steve Nagron's house and made him an Xbox. So you, and you must have bought him way later. later. Yes, years yes. later. Yeah, so like, that's the second. weird thing. Like that, I remember we getting this, and he's it. he's like Deviasi's heel, and I'm like kind of sad. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, but the other thing too is this Luger. We're going back a little bit. He was in stores for years. I saw him in Walgreens years. There's ago. Well, distribution okay. things about these figures that we can get into that I can't even explain. And listen, yes. guys, let's get this right yeah. off the bat. This is not like a complete history of every re-release. Like there's a there's a it fucking impo- Lex Luger. It would be on impossible. an attitude era card. Like yeah. listen, we're not we're not getting how. into that. I, can't, getting I honestly don't those. have the answers for that kind of stuff. No, we're not we're not getting into those. I, dude, the Brett was released for years. Right. Same with, I mean it's nuts. I don't yes. even understand yes. it. Yeah. Okay. We're not we're not gonna get into all that stuff. We'll mention it, but we're not gonna go into detail about you know the Canadian and foreign cards were different. Like eh, we're not doing it. We're just doing the actual figures. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yep. Um all right, so favorite figure. From series two, uh, as a child, I would say one, two, three, kid. But it's Taker now. That Taker's because not to mention, like I said, the rest of Taker's run in this series is woo abysmal. I'm gonna say Mabel again, Ooh, like another wow. new character. Um, did we ever get a Jax Clash Superstar Mabel? Classic Superstar, yes. Okay, so for a long time, this is the only Mabel. Oh. For sure. Well, and then you get Big Daddy V. No, oh, right, but I'm, Vi- saying Ma- I'm, saying Mabel, I'm saying but as Mabel, Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, two, three, kid for me. Cool. Or x and, and let's also, you know, let's give ourselves a little pat on the back, a little plug. We are making that atom bomb. Uh, as clo- it will as be close as we can possibly get it, yeah. In, in Major Bendy Series 2, another interesting fact that, that TTD, D Freedom, you know, they're, they're doing our research for us. That is fantasy gear on Adam Bomb. It is not accurate. Yeah. Like he never wore it, but we made the decision, hey, when we're releasing this, do we make the accurate gear or do we make it like the toy? I was strongly for it. Let's make it like the toy. Yes. You know? So someone who doesn't necessarily want to buy major bendies, they're gonna need that Adam Bomb to put into this. I if they're so. a Benham collector. That's what we're banking on. But yeah. <laughs> time will tell. Mm. All right, let's hit series three. Okay. Series three was one of the first sets that I remember like walking to KB Toys and like having like a heart attack about, just being very fired up. Um, this yeah, this was the biggest uh, like that character. Well, Ahmed Johnson. If, if we want to start with Ahmed sure. Johnson, all right. 
Juice makes sugar. <laughs> that is the like man. top, you know, he's so over at the time. Uh, joining this fig ved, uh, you get Ahmed John. It's, that was an unreal situation. Blown away, right? Yes. I mean, I was using Butch uh, from, from Doom, my Galoob, as Ahmed Johnson. So now <laughs> I have oh real Ahmed God. Johnson, you know? So sick. Oh, yeah. I, I, I pulled and him. This is Ahmed, one of my Big ass elbow pads. Oh, yeah. Ahmed is someone who has the, the two cool figures. He has this, the, the bone cruncher, but none of them have the accurate knee pads on the thigh. But he didn't. At first, he didn't do that. He switched to that. I think okay. that's why. Okay. Uh, but either way, awesome. And this is where you see, like, and I think a, a lot of well, it's the legs, man. Like the upper body's there, and then the legs aren't as big as the rest of the figures. And this is, you know, a decline in the scale as we go. This but. figure's way more movable than like Lex Luger. Yes. Yeah, 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 that too. Yeah, like look. Like you holy do, crap, you can do some yeah. little stuff. You can actually move yeah. the torso a little bit. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I, very I, fired I up. I, Mark's right. Very fired up to get Ahmed. He's so over. I'll never forget him debuting on Raw and doing a Pro River Plunge and just like erasing my mind. Like just. I also, uh, I also like have watched him back. He was great, man. He was intense and like I'm sure you know the boys are saying he was stiff at him or whatever. But damn, as a kid watching him, oh awesome. yeah, believe we, we did an Ahmed Johnson off the hop rope month. It was the, some month. of the most fun match I've ever watched. <laughs> Four Ahmed Johnson matches yeah, yeah. in a row. It was so good, uh, awesome. Uh, let's go to the mighty Yokozuna. Um, not so mighty if you're looking horizontally. Not that big. Uh, he's the heaviest Bendham yet, but he's still not probably big enough as he should be. We talk about Ahmed being so movable. It's like only the feet on Yoko bend. You know, like his legs don't bend, you know? No, I mean, it's too thick. Yeah. This one was a big disappointment to me because um, you didn't really need it, but the, the Hasbro Yokozuna is so good. It's right? great. So yeah. It's so good. Can't even really compare it. I, even I the, the likeness on this is not so hot. I did appreciate, though, it's in the accurate ring gear. The Hasbro is in opposite color gear. Mm, true. I'm not but even he, talking about the white and black. I feel like he did wear that gear, just like he not did, as frequent but it as wasn't. This. Yeah, yeah, this is his. And also, the skin is like a weird, like yellow. It's like, white. It's, it's literally white. Like, no, it's like a, a yellowish. Yeah. It's I don't I don't really dig yeah. the skin color on Yoko, and clearly not uh, as big. Uh, next up, who are we going with next? How about the bizarre one? <sighs> Guy who's still wrestling right now. I, Same I thing, my though. Favorites. Skinny legs, man. Big upper body. I was very fired up to get this because oh he's another God. one. He he changed the game when he came in. You know, such a you know different right. character. Same, yeah. Same thing for Ahmed. You get a, a brand new like. Come on, now you can do yeah. Hulk Hogan versus Goldust. That's what and I'm saying. Again, he's like I, really expanded, like out of way out of Hasbro people. Right. You know, and I was using Yellow Mister Perfect as Goldust, and now I have <laughs> Goldust. And the I, hair, I, not great. I mean, I would prefer not, but whatever. Yeah, but Beggars can't be that's how toys were back then, so it's yes. not even like... Yeah. But yeah. what's interesting is that, we'll talk about it in a second, the ring, the box art, Goldust and Undertaker, Goldust has no wig. Hmm. In the box art? Like, it's just like the, the cartoon oh, then, drawing. Uh, yeah, I don't even remember that. But then also, the micro Bendems, right, which are, they kind of look similar to the real Bendems, Goldust has no wig. But that's like way later, Attitude Era right, Goldust. Right, right, This is right. debut Goldust. Awesome figure. And, of course, my favorite wrestler at the time. Gotta have the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Just steal, stealing the damn show. Super duper skinny. He, But he's, he's Shawn's he not petite. a big guy, so I was yeah. like really, I was okay with that. And yeah. the Hasbros are great, right? But. You can really do sweet chin music with this. Yeah, look at that. Sweet um, chin music, baby. Boom, my, baby. My peeve with this, and it's always been, is that this is like a Heel, 94 right? Sean. Yes. yes. I, why is this not a 95, like baby Sean? Like maybe, like like the way the, the Bone Cruncher was, like the blue. To me, know, this like, is like winning Royal Rumble Sean. Yeah. So like, I, Even like, I like mean, he's wearing the gloves and the wrist tape, not the full like sleeve thing right you know right. Uh, yeah 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 that would that would really make it different to me but i was also kind of shocked that he's later as late as series three like that one two three kid is more important than Shawn michaels yeah pretty crazy right um Whoever another interesting thing decisions. to point out and we realize this in doing our research for making our own bendies like if you look at for instance the the the, the series one guys a lot of their logos are molded into the gear sean's uh hearts are just painted on you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the, the there's there's some uh, 
like bulldogs bulldog on his wrists were just painted on but right. there's some like like look at luger like every little american flag emblem is etched into his body but right you know, there, there, there are things if you really look closely at luger there are stars molding onto his tassels that they just painted over. Like, ah, fuck it. He's, he's got too much deco. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? He's got yeah. too much deco. No, look, look yeah. right now. Like, there's just yeah. too, ah, too much deco. Yeah, yeah. Um, but By the way, great, these great smell figure. like uh, my childhood. Oh, they're, they're, like I said, they're not like head turning awesome figures, but they're very sentimental. But see, if you, grew, if you grew up watching wrestling in this era and playing with the toys, like, this is everyone's wheelhouse. Man, and it I, was like, it was not a lot to ask of your parents, like, can I get the new Bendem? Like, right, it's, right. It's not, you know. And I, yeah, you I, get the I, whole. Your your parent would be like, get you the six in the store and just feel like a baller. Feel, like, feel yeah, awesome. Get all yeah, six. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. there's only four of them. There's, there's only four. four. Sure. And I I gotta keep it's going under back to fifteen dollar investment. Really, yes. like you get a whole set. But I also do think these are underappreciated. The sense that, like, okay, look at Sean. He's everyone has their own unique multiple. Sean has these weird boots that he wore. One, two, three, kid is a kick pass. They're not just like reusing parts. Everyone's wearing boots that they didn't wear boots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be impossible. I, I dig that. Mm-hmm. F- favorite series three figure. Mm. It's, a, it's a tough one. This this has... <sighs> Ahmed. I, yeah, I don't think I might go Ahmed just because he was like so new and fresh at the time. And- to, 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 ch- to change it up, I'm going to go with Gold Dust as my favorite. Ooh, all right. The bizarre Gold Dust. Cool. Let's move it on to series four. All right, the, one of the cool things about this series, um, you didn't get any managers in Hasbro, and we get our first manager in. I in know you want time. me. I know you want me. I Sonny, know you want who was me, just baby. at this time, I mean, come on. The, the most, most downloaded. Over, uh, <laughs> oh, the most over female in wrestling history. Yes. I mean, just unbelievable. Very cool figure. Fits Very in petite, perfectly. As you said, it fits petite, perfectly with them. Awesome autograph on the back. And her arms are actually like bendable where they'll stay kind of. She might be the most bendable. Her and Sable are the most bendable bendables of all time. I mean, you can do anything to her. Love it. Yeah. Very Perfect. cool. Like you said, much needed. She's just coming off that storyline where she's all different tag teams managers and she's you know very much in the fold. And I, I was using hosting Mr. stuff. Host <laughs> I, I was using what? the Mr. Perfect and the purple uh, the blue what? and yellow. <laughs> What an imagination on yeah. a young Matt but Cardona. It's great. Yeah. Um, let's go on to a very, very disappointing figure. Yes. This 1991 Psycho Sid <laughs> that comes out in why do they keep making it? Why do they keep making him in blue? Even it has to be a re- it has to be a reference shot. Yes. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. It has to be. Like, how did so, that happen? So why? So explain why. Even his is, elbow is, pad's never been. It's always black, right? Yeah. Why would he have a white uh, body armor sleeve? So this comes out in a time where he is black gear. Psycho strictly, Sid. strictly psycho said black tights, black knee pads, black boots. So to be in blue is very, very strange. But, but the Jax is the same thing. Great, like girth though, and great likeness. He's a little, he's a lot thicker, you know. Yeah. I dig it. Sid was my guy. You could do yeah, the, well, the fist pound with the fans. Down, <laughs> you know? you Love it. The fist, True. The fist pound. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but just that the blue is, even to this day, it's just a real WTF on that. And, and let's also make note that by this time, we have Jax. You know, so like that 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 period of no figures is yeah. over because we do have real Jax figures now. So I think you really got to be a, I don't want to say a diehard, but like a diehard to want to get these as well because you and can I know, build your fig fit. As we go through this, I know exactly when I like either tapped out or, be, or became very disinterested, whatever you want to call it. I can, I can do, yeah, yeah, me too. I can do the same thing. Cool. Okay. This guy I was all in on when he debuted. Wild Man Mark Mero was a huge yeah. fan of wow. Bad. I was super pumped uh, for I, – I loved – the wild man. I don't know why. I mean, I guess he gets hurt and they give up on yeah. him. And he comes back as the boxer, which I also think there could have been potential for a boxer, Mark Merrow. Yeah, I, I agree. Bend him that we never got. Face mm. on this one is that's a good idea, Brian. Yeah. That's a good, Brian, that's a good idea. Write that down. Let's talk. Let's talk to our friend Mark. That, great, uh, great tan great on the wild man. Beautiful tan. I like the gear. This is a broski tan some, right here on the wild deco. man. Tassels on the knee pads, which is like, who even has that in real life? But amazing. Mm. Cool. Cool to get the wild, man. And last just, but not not least, a really great Bendem. This a one's thick, one of the best a, all time. Thick boy. Perfect. It's time. They call Beta. It's time. It's Beta. Time. 
Yep. Awesome figure. Heavy as hell. The gloves, everything. Same thing though. He's like, you know, on TV, top heel. I distinctly much remember needed. doing moonsaults with that. <laughs> so it's actually, good. This is definitely an underrated figure. I think one of the the best Vader figures ever. Yeah. I, I yeah. kind of agree. I mean, there's some, really, there's some really bad Vaders, so yeah, I'd have to agree with you. <laughs> That's really like good. the like the Jacks yeah. Vaders. <laughs> yeah, oof, those classics Vaders. Like, this is coming out around the same time as that <laughs> BCA one. That is, and that's way too skinny. Yeah, right. And this yeah, isn't too skinny. Yeah. This is great. So that's and actually the the Vader the the previous Vader figure from uh, San Francisco Toy Makers was great. So oh, that is a great figure as well. Yeah. You're right. That and, and uh, the Char- the Chara Pro Vader is good too. Yes, it's more so the Jacks and the the Bone Crunch and the Classic Superstar are horrible. Yes. So favorite series four. Vader for me. That that Vader I, had a top guy run in me. Yeah, this might be a landslide on Vader, huh? Vader's. I, I'm gonna go guy. Sunny for the yeah. the uniqueness, and sure. I think we I think we needed Chelsea Green, Major Bendy to to, to go with the Sunny. Ooh, write, wow. write that down. Write what that Sunny down, wants, man. Sunny gets. Okay. All Sweet. right, guys, um, we're trying to continue this this line here. Hey, Broski, I thought you said this was a party. It is. Major PBR forever. All right. The Super Slam Wrestling Ring. What a disappointment. Unbelievable. <laughs> it kind of looks cool now on display ish. Okay. I will say a couple things. One, <laughs> rope let's suck. say some, some good. Oh, the ropes suck. By the way, Broski calls me on this every time, but I did this even as a kid. I double looped them because they just fall. I, that's not a bad idea. So even as a child, I did this, so I don't mind doing it, even though it doesn't say to do that on the box right. or the packaging or the instructions or whatever. Oh, yeah, but, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Because um, they just would slide all over the place. It was a nightmare. Here, let's huh. let's say some positives before I destroy it. <laughs> one, one, it comes with Paul Bearer, who we'll get into in a second, which is a big positive. Okay? Second, this is the first time in, correct me if I'm wrong, in wrestling history, even to this day, that it's the correct color canvas of a wrestling ring. Hmm. The the baby sky yeah, blue. Yeah, right? I guess, yeah. Like I even mean, to even this The even Mattel to this day, retro ring is like a neon. like. No, but even like but the, the Mattel retro ring is like Hasbro style, but it's all one color. I guess that's also this true. Has, so it's not trying to be correct. Yeah. Right. This is the two-tone. But even like today, like modern day Mattel rings make like a gray, gray or a yeah, white. It's not, that's it's not, not the color for a goddamn ring. Yeah. True. You know, okay. so it's good, accurate. Good observation. Sense. Good observation. I use this with my Hasbro's as the WrestleMania ring cart. You know, <laughs> cool. I didn't do that. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, in my mind, the pivot was why make a ring when we could make a carrying case, and I think that's really what this is supposed to be. Right. No, that's and what it is. But that's what. But I'm saying that that's the main purpose of it. The ring is like the well, bonus. Look, well, I just I just realized a variant. What? Yours says secret storage compartment on the bottom, right? Yep. Hmm. What is going on here? It's oh, completely yeah. different. Wait, yours yeah. is upside down, broski. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, sorry, I look right away. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I right away saw that. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. You, you, you can, Put theory, your bend ups in here, bro. How many you can, can fit, you fit in there? Two? You, you could fit eight. Okay. I don't understand. What I don't never understood about this is why the posts are projectiles. That's the thing. It's because like, okay, let's take you take the ropes off. Boom. I'm not messing my up. You can do it, right? So like, oh look, they go in, right? But they don't stay. They don't stay. (laughs) So it doesn't even like. This I don't understand it at all. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. Like, were they supposed to stay, but then they don't? Maybe Maybe for storage purposes, you can just kind of. Put something if they, on like, top if of it? they could like click in like a like a pen, you that's know what, what I mean? I'm thinking, right? That would have been great, or more 
better. Now, <laughs> Mark, can, can we can we throw up? I'm no. not going to be able to, to show you right now, so can we throw up a picture or maybe I'll do a little video uh, of the two rings next to each other so you can see what it should have been compared yeah. to what it became? I mean. You know what I'm saying? And then, I mean, what? there's so many things that drove me nuts as a kid about this. It was like unplayable, like. If you did a Royal Rumble in this thing and you shit can somebody, they're falling to their death. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big pyramid. <laughs> I mean, look at a guy. I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but look at like Triple H next to this thing. <laughs> like, you can barely peer in. You can't even, if, you, if you're a manager, you can't, even, you can't hit the mat to cheer well, on your If, your if you're Paul Bear or Swoggle, you oh, can't man. even see. Paul Bear is toast. Paul Bear um, doesn't even know who's winning or losing. And, listen, I liked... That they included Paul Bear, and I understand they had to pivot from Dink. But it, for Paul, me as a kid, I was like, oh my God, I have to get this Paul Bear. I have to get this Paul, like right. freaking out. And it was but, exclusive. And then they screwed us and put it in that the seven power pack. Slam, the power yeah, slam. Was, but man, at, at first, I like went, oh my God. But Paul Bear is not a midget. Dink was a midget. <laughs> Um, but I, I I like that they made him small. He wasn't a big guy. And yeah, you know he's tiny, yeah. and it's he's got to be shorter than Undertaker. So that too. I, I think I think here's that him, dink that here's you him, have here's him next to the mankind. Oh, so see, what a mat! Little. I got a dream match here going. <laughs> but that's what I said. Paul Bear's not a midget. Yeah, but put what him next to the Undertaker. Do you have like he's pro- size I, I in what Broski's saying, he's probably too small. Here's Undertaker, but he should be smaller. No, not really. That looks cool, but that taker's small as hell. So I don't know. They were back to the original right. argument. Well, but whatever. okay, now they also included this ring in sets where you get a two bonus figures. But it's always listen. So if, many. If, if someone can find me a list where it's not just random asking guys. Now some are do match up where it's like you know Brent and Austin, but then there's some where you'll find like a Taka in there with an Austin, and there's like. Uh, <laughs> Ahmed and Sean, like just random. So old I don't, Austin, Sean. Like, yeah, it's cool that they included figures, but it always has that Paul Bear in there. Hmm. Not, not in those when the two figures come. In, there's no Paul Bear. Are you sure? Absolutely positive because I got that at Wrestling Universe and Comac, and I assumed he was in there. Yep. And I, the other two bendems I didn't need, and then I opened it and went, oh, man, I still need the Paul Bear. Ah, so you learn something new every so, day. Yeah. And we'll get into the other ring later on in the show because they do repaint the ring. Series five, big set here, and this is one that's like some of the choices for series four are a little like suspect with all the bangers in this set. You know what I mean? If you look back at it now, come on, who we, we going? You with? get them. How did we never paint the boots black? Insane. Right. Now, can can we all hold him up to see goatee color on your eyes? Oh Austin? well, I brought both. I got the very, very faint goatee and then the dark goatee. Okay. Now, which this, was, is, this is the first, is the faint, and then they came out with the dark. Now, okay. So, this is something I didn't realize till years later because they re released this Austin multiple times. Maybe the so, most released Bendham so ever. This, and they this, never painted the boots, which is nuts. Is that the, the black stars? So, this is one that I always counted. I should say always. The past few years, I counted as my Series 5. But watch, Brian. Uh uh-uh. uh, it's out of my collection because I don't know where it truly came from. You're so a right here, loser, dude. Come right on. here, I will uh. let them breathe. I have both the Austins, both on my series God. five carding. Right? I have both on series five carding right here, so I know for a fact. I know for a fact that they are from series five. So wow. let's go first with the uh, the faint beard. It's like a lightish brownish, a lightish it's, brownish. Right? It's like. Very light compared to the. I mean, look at the dark one. Yeah, it's big. Bro, difference. yours even looks lighter than this one. Because there's there's a really light and a really dark, and that's no, what I just went with, and I didn't want say, in between. But, but I'm saying you you when I open this, let's compare. I think yours is lighter than my light. So I have one on the wall right up there. That is the medium, and I have the dark one in my hand, yeah. and I'm colorblind, and I can tell that. So yeah, right, because it's a big difference. Not the light, though. I don't have the light, and I think I might Bro, need that. I, I just opened it perfectly. The card just like perforated itself. Yeah, sometimes they're like that. Sometimes they just get destroyed. It's hard to explain. All right, so here's Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, hell yeah. But look, it's like a... Yeah, you have like... Eh. That's pretty light. But it looks a little darker than Brian's, though. Yeah, but you, I mean, eh, lighting not, in the rooms are nit, different. That's, that's nitpicking, yeah. Okay, right. now, now let me go to my, here, my other Series 5 Austin. Let him breathe. Yeah. 
That's as you can tell, clearly a darker version. Yeah, yep. now you're now you're set up. But they look like they're different shades than yours. Nah, it's just Mark's right. We're different rooms, different lighting, different yeah, feeds. I I also yeah. think, much like LJN and uh, <clears throat> and Bone Crunchers, that a lot of these variants are not real variants. They're just they're mass producing these. So they're I agree. like these are. This is not a true variant. The Bret Hart, I don't think it's a true variant. No, I, I agree, but they're so drastic that I just feel comfortable having one of each. And I think sure. they're my own. I think those are the only two in the whole, right? In the whole collection. I don't have any other, like, no one else is like, I'm looking around the room. I don't think anyone else is like that. Well, there's a true variant coming up in this set. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay, yeah. First off, but, Stone Cold Steve. Wait, let's, question, not, let's the, not brush over that Stone Cold yes. Steve Austin's first band. Um, he's the biggest star in the wrestling universe, the world. I mean, this is like every kid's wet dream to have him. Is and this that the bad first boys. Stone Cold figure, or is no, the, is the BCA bad first? boys? Okay. I think Bad Boys is, comes first. I, okay, in my heart, I believe that. But uh, I was just cool. thrilled to have Stone Cold in that Hasbro figure. Oh my god, yeah, unreal, Bendham. Mankind is great. Huge. Great, and I'm so much unique stuff going on. Like the, the 3D-ness of his logo in the back. No signature, by the way. He just has like the logo. Right. Mankind which is logo. cool. He's got the mandible claw, the mask. Perfect. The boots great, great with the, figure. you know, those things wrapped around. It just look awesome. Just yep. stands the test of time. Great. All, all great jacked Bendham. up. All jacked up for sure. Great. Very Bendham. underrated, Bendham. Mr. Varuk himself. We are the nation of domination. You can't you know do crazy? the nation pose with them. I know. That's <laughs> bullshit, right? Oh, man. Uh, Bendham is like just toys. Bendham could have been the company to give us our only Farouk Assad, like in the helmet. Yeah. That right? Would be they cool, could have yeah. been the ones that could have done that because there's a couple other funny exceptions we'll get to that are like shocking, but cool to have a nation, like Farouk. I do like it. Um, Big player. Great, you know, guy you needed, legend. Yeah, yeah. dig it. The um, hat, I love that the hat is on. Even you know, yeah. both, both his bone cruncher and this bending, but it's all good. And this guy who I was like heavily invested in, I, I don't want to say I knew he was gonna be a star, but I knew he was gonna be a star, and I love them. Rocky, Rocky Maivia. Maivia. Yeah, I love do you this. think? Do you think this is based off Babyface Rock or Heel Rock? Oh, I think this is Babyface with the. With the, with the he just looks so angry though, but uh, yeah, it's got to be Babyface because yeah. it, it's these are say '97 in the back, and he comes back at the very end of '97, right? Is a he's got the, the Sing Brother boots on the back, you know? Yep, open calf, love it. Way too pasty, but yep, definitely, absolutely. all good. But by the time uh, this comes out, he's in the mix and he's in the nation, and it's like pretty exciting to have him. It's a it's uh, a set of bangers for sure. Yep, yeah, that's why I was like, dude, you, they made. Sid and Mama and Mark Merrow and Sonny before some of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Kind of crazy if you look yeah. back at it, you know. Um, um, and then we have to acknowledge this because in our research, we found it multiple times in Series 5 packaging. So that's another thing that goes back to like, we don't understand the distribution. D -d 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 distribution? Because mm -hmm. we found this re-released, which is crazy. It's the exact repaint, which which is another reason that Austin drives me nuts that they never made it in black right. boots because right. like, obviously they knew what they were doing. And this figure right, actually, Tanner. This figure looks great. It's Tanner. It's got the deco. I mean, it's, it does the job. I don't understand. I don't know the what red, the, re the red red band. I don't know yeah. what that is. But other than that, it's like pretty flawless. Like so, the, wow. for an updated rock that you would want, you know. It's Absolutely. it's it's re released on like an Attitude Era style packaging that says Series Five and the original Series Five packaging. What I think, and we'll get there's a couple of Austins, you know, in the street clothes. We'll get into it. I think these guys are just so over and such top just guys. Bang them like, out, just banging out cases of them and throwing them in assortments and stuff, and right. just getting them. We out don't know there, for so. sure. Something like that, though. But great, very, figure. very cool, great banger of a set, though. Holy cow, love it. Oh, wait, uh, favorite from the set? Did we do that? No, we did not. Whew. Don't gold. Clearly. The white boots, even as a kid, drove me nuts. So uh, I think I'm going to go with overall, Mankind is the best one. I'm going Austin because I do, while I do agree that they should have repainted it with the black boots, I do like that we got it one with the white. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I would love for Mattel to do one in the white boots. Not a bad point. At the, like yeah. in the yeah, nice elite. That's yeah, the, nice Nowadays, elite. That'd be, that's okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Series six. Uh, what a rush! Oh, 
another like <laughs> set. I vividly remember walking into KB Toys and Rosa Field Mall, finding these, and having a heart attack. Yes, me too. We were probably there the same day. Really crazy that. I mean, it took that long to get Triple H, but uh, very cool, very toyetic. I don't even mind that. This, I mean, I didn't playing with these. Obviously, was a bitch, but like, I hated it. These, but these would be so boring without these. Yeah. Like, and what are you gonna do? There's no such thing as a Bendham accessory that's like a real accessory, not like, right, right. You know, carnage right. fodder, fodder. So this whatever. was a hard, hard pass for me on these. Definitely didn't get them. I remember passing on them. I mean, I if you have the, the Hasbro's thing. and you're fed, that's the same thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. But yeah. I, I just hated the spikes. But when I recollected they're these, big, they're big, great, unreal. Yeah, the fa- the yeah. face scans or not scans, but it's just like the fit, the likenesses are so good. The the the, yeah. the likenesses are great. Also, first time that Animal has like the real mohawk into the uh, little tail. The, yeah. The, the 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 bone cruncher does not have that. Um, by the way. The autograph is just Legion of Doom and nobody's real autograph. Hmm. Funny little anecdote. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. These uh, rule. I, I don't know. These, these, I mean, now, I mean, obviously I'm not playing with my Bendos. These, these rule to have. I, I wish Hawk's hair color was a little lighter. They shouldn't have the same color hair. You yeah. know? Mustache on Hawk is great. I love it. It's a, a great yeah. Hawk likeness. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well. So now, great. Now yeah. they might be one of the best Bendems. As a kid, I hated it. Mm. This guy, one of my absolute favorite wrestlers of the time, Hunter Hurst Hemsley. Crazy so, how long it took him to get in this line. Yes, uh, but what I remember awesome specifically, figure. bad timing, because he is like DX, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I just uh, would would have preferred a, like a different Triple H, I guess. No, like when this I when it. this comes out, he's oh, still he's, he's still wearing still this. Hunter. Yeah, he's, yeah, still, he's Hunter. still on it. When this is like street, the street date on this for sure. He's, this is fine. I, I like that he has like the baggy pants. Yeah, like, it looks cool. You yeah. know, same thing. It's, it's always the legs that are a little tinier that Hunter that's, is Hemsley. That serious one, serious one, and an awesome giant autograph on the back. He's oh, another one that they 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 yeah. kind of like re release but write Triple H on the box, but it's still Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And this and it, this figure has is another one that came out. We'd be here all day if we tried to figure out how many times they released right. this in so like, ways. I don't even know for sure if this Hunter, since I got a loose lot, is the one from Series 5. You know what I'm saying? It is, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I don't even know where to, to start with this. I don't know how Mark just said he likes this figure. I like Undertaker this figure. 2 is what it's called on the streets. Um, okay, let's let's look at Hunter. It sounds by the way. Let's compare him. <laughs> all right, look how little he is. His skin tone is gray. He's dead. I, I, mean, I, I get on. it, but his feet and boots are like so tiny. I mean, you needed an updated Undertaker, but this was very I unsatisfying. I overlooked all that. I was happy I, to get rid of the tie. Undertaker's a top guy at the time, but he's like a it's cruiser. A, it's a totally new look from Hasbro and yeah. the original. So I'm all in on this skin I mean, tone. No, whatever. He's gray is like, it's almost like a light blue. <laughs> it's the skin tone is like. Undescribable. Yeah. I think for the longest time I thought he was glow in the dark because that that's he's why this not, is he's not glow in the dark. He's definitely no, not. I know. And I would love to just put this out there right now. This is not the worst Undertaker Bendham. It is not. It is no, not. No, they it's a, they say Just Toy said, "Hold my beer." When this yeah. came out, they said, "We'll be yeah. right back. We could do it." Yeah. Oh, maybe they do. Uh, right. Favorite from the set, Legion of Doom. Now I'm Ty L O D Hunter, Hunter Selmsley, brother. No way, he was my guy for so long. Ty L O D. No way. All right, series seven. This is an interesting one. Very this, interesting. This is one of my favorite sets of the whole set. Really? Yes. Who are you starting? There's with? some interesting pieces to this. I have a lot of statements that I'm going to make about okay. the figures. Who's start, first? Pull somebody out. Let's Let, start this, with this. Is a quick one. Shamrock. Great. Needed him. Needed him. He's a, he's in the mix. He's a guy. He's involved. Needed him. Awesome. Nothing much I, to say I, about. I it. think it looks like little Guido, uh, but no. But it looks like Shamrock. It's <laughs> yeah. It's, it's fine. It's, it's good. He's got the gloves, the kick pads. Uh, Bendable. The world's most dangerous man. Perfect. Cool. Uh, Needed him. I liked it. Nothing really. Could he have been more jacked? Sure. Sure. But it's fine. Yep. yep. Let's go with the Patriot, Del Wilkes. Beautiful figure, man. Hell yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So toyetic, awesome looking. 
I'm sure people booked him with their Luger and made like a super team. Uh, so it, we definitely did that, hundred percent. His autograph looks like my daughter did it. I don't know if that's true to form, but that's how he did it. But looks like it did the Disney logo. <laughs> yeah, it does look like <laughs> the Disney logo. Uh, the, like same as the Luger, by the way. Like the stars are all 3D and you know sculpted in there. And in my mind, this comes out before the Slammers, correct? I'm pretty positive it does. Now I, they were 97, able, 97 stamp on the back. If yeah, they were able to get these out pretty quick. Yeah, that you know? too. Yeah. Uh, great, great figure. I think the the detail in the mask is great. Patriot, Isn't it? if you were watching wrestling at that time, he had the best two month run of anyone ever. It was most right? unique, the and most he was unique. like so like this top guy for two months, and then just never seen again. You know, it's Disappears. like crazy. Yeah. All right, let's do Crush, which I love. Mm-hmm. The I only love. disciples of Apocalypse Crush, which is nuts to me. Like to this day, the only incarnation of DOA Crush, which is crazy. Brian the, Adams. The, most people don't even know he has the Disciples Apocalypse logo on the back. The Crush logo. This is bandana. One that I I hope somehow, some way, that maybe the the bone crushing wrestlers they make a DOA Crush because yeah. we don't because Mattel doesn't have the light the license to do it. I wish and they would have done it. He doesn't even have like a Pro and T store or anything, so I don't know what where his uh rights are you know and mm. pretty cool it, though, it doesn't quite look like crush but nah but cool cool very needed cool. needed nonetheless yeah awesome this is this, a great one this is one of the best of the whole line mm-hmm. the only it's crazy to think the only depiction of owen hart like 97 heart foundation owen hart short hair with short hair short hair yeah i have a couple pretty questions nice. One, how can it take so long to get him in the line? It's, not, it's <laughs> okay. not like he's not on TV. Literally, when I'm laying these out today to set up for this, that crossed my mind. I went, that's nuts. This deep right. to get Owen Hart? Yeah, you and would think like, like Series 2. Yeah. Right. At least. Like long hair like on my T-shirt, Owen Hart. Yeah. Yeah. And then my other question is, why didn't Jax ever do a short hair bone cruncher Owen Hart? I think because they made... The King of Hearts, Owen Hart, and they were like already put their money into that tooling and just never, yeah, you know, yeah, they're just, that, they're just that. It would that's the way the toy business was. Like we did sure. them already, right, you know? right, right, because they re-released them and repainted them tons of times. Yeah, yeah, awesome figure though, Ti- like timeless. Yeah, I don't have many Aut- childhood memories great, of that Owen Hart though. Great uh, logo on the back. Yeah, the uh, autograph, so cool. Nice, the pink pops. Yep. Great. Favorite Owen Hart hands down for me. Owen Hart for me, hundred yep. percent. I think I'm gonna go Shamrock. I I loved that Shamrock. Just having them ankle lock people. And Hell yeah. Beat their ass. All right. Interesting set coming up again here. Series eight. There's some there's some uh, big time ones. How about the ninth wonder of the world, China. That one is great. Great you, figure. You got a and manager. You need, she's and beating she's, people up on the outside. She's got all China over. Triple H and China now. All over TV. You need her. Very yeah, exciting. This, Big this star. This is definitely like depicting, Another female. Yes. To me, this is definitely depicting like debut China's before she gets the two newest members of DX, if you know yes, what I mean. Yes, of course. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right. Actually, look at her. Uh, that's cool. Her autograph in the back says China DX. Oh. Uh, pretty cool. I like it. If, and if you look closely... It has like, uh, you know, like different studs, and I don't know if these are handcuffs, but they're. Just oh yeah, like, I mean, like her. If you look really at, it, like the belt is a like crazy detail. Yeah. Great, great, Pretty figure. cool. And I also really, like really that. Looks like Tammy's like very petite. China's like right there with the guys. Yep. Oh yeah, size, she should size be wise. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Man. And I also like that the the bone cruncher China was almost like a manager style, but she never really fit with the bone crunchers. But this yeah. is like bendy, just like the guys. I. What I loved about that China is that you needed her to stand there and look imposing. No, for sure, but they should have eventually made a yeah. bone cruncher version. I agree. Yes. Yes. Uh, this next? dude, I think we just talked about on the show, and everybody loves him. Taka Mishinoku, which is hell like, yeah, goes to show you how over this dude was. He was so fucking over. I know. Yeah, that he got to bend him. It looks like him. It's good. Uh, very unique wrist tape with the crossover. Like very unique uh, things to him. Like, Taka was over, over, hair, over. His hair might be a little too high. He looks a little bit like Shamrock. Yeah. 
But uh, great. I was there game. when he won the light heavyweight championship in Springfield, Massachusetts. In, in, oh, I thought I was in Worcester. Yeah, in Springfield. Springfield. Mm, Springfield. Cool. Yeah. And look at his signature. Says Takamichinoku, Japan. Yeah, I huh. see that. And these are 1998 Titan Sports. This set. I love it. Awesome love figure, it. much needed. This guy. I mean, everyone. This is one of those ones, like we said about Austin and Rock. Like this guy comes out. Oh, you need him. He's, he's a game changer. Hell Big Glenn, yes. the Big Red Machine, Kane. No signatories. He's got the logo. Same as Mankind. I I big, big, heavy, imposing. Pop, the red pops. You know, it's not like a dull red. Great figure. I love it. Like when you look under, like the mask, you see his goatee is painted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like pretty, it's pretty flawless for a Bendham. I, I do think so. And the, this again, the studs are molded into the gear, just not painted on the gloves, the belts, and the shoulders. Unless mine's worn down. What do you mean? Your, what? The studs that are on like the, the, the gloves, the gauntlets. Oh, yeah, the belt. No, they're all there. But are they painted? No. Right, that's what I'm saying. They're just painted. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great figure, for sure. And I, and I saved the most fun for last. Our good friend of the show, Double J, Jeff Jarrett. Slap nuts. The one and only depiction of him in his return, and it's been dubbed the Aztec gear. Now, yes. how many t- how times did he wear that? It's not long. It's a decent, like a month? decent run. Less than, six, less than six months for sure. Okay, I, okay. I, I, I right. like it. The ponytail look. Now, my it's just, it, There's of- no other Jarrett figure ever like this, so I... It's completely unique to its own and stands out forever to me. So mine has some sort of like skin disease on. I gotta get a new one. Oh, yeah, bro. You see that? that? Yeah. I gotta get a little this uh, little uh, new one here. But um, what? Another plug for Major Bendy's the My World figures coming out. So you will get because I believe Brian agrees that we should have got two Jeff Jarretts. He could besides this, which is crazy that like we get this Jeff because. The two way more famous depictions of him yes. weren't done. Like uh, with my baby tonight, country singer Jarrett, and don't piss me off, slap nuts Jarrett. Uh, both coming to Major Bendy's alongside Conrad Thompson coming early 2022. Awesome. Check those out. I love uh, it. Fa- favorite one in this in this set? J- Double J, just because he's our buddy and I love him, and that's the most so unique that. There's never even been a figure close to like that from that era of his career. I think I will. So, I'm going to so agree different. with the Double J, even if I didn't like him, even if he wasn't my friend, because it's just a unique uh, piece of wrestling figure history. Yeah, Kane for me. Good set. Nice. Great set. Moving on. <laughs>
Okay. Series nine. And this is where I think, guys, I think this is where it, you tapped. The, da- the downfall is for sure here. I right. did not tap yet. Me neither. I'm going strong. I know, I know. These next no, no, no. two sets, baby. I'm not saying I tapped as a collector and as a child, but these are just different from what the product yes. has been. For sure. Okay. All right. First up, getting his second appearance as a different character. Cactus Jack, Mick Foley. Cool. I love it. Needed, but so petite. Yes. Great great figure, fun figure. I mean, it has the shirt with the, you know, the decal, very different for a Bendem. Now, one thing about the 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 deco on the shirt, it's like printed, but it never really quite takes. You know what I'm saying? So it never looks it's just like wanted dead and then the bottom's like Meh. Yeah, right. but that's enough. You it gets the so? job done. I do. I think it gets the job done. Well, if this was the major Bendy's line, Broski would it, be no, fuming cuz toys have, toys have evolved, you know. Yes. And right. the major Bendy's are but, a love letter to the this line. So what I'm saying is like a brand new one still looks like it was been played with. Oh, dude, I open this and you could. I mean, right, right. There's no right. finish to the detail. Right, That's fine. Right. I'm sure we confuse somebody uh, just starting out. Uh, our third and last female, I believe, in the line. Yeah, pretty pretty certain. Super Sable. over Sable. Great awesome. Look. This. This yeah. one actually is fine because it fits, you know, size wise and goes in with everybody. That could be valet gear, that could be ring gear. I mean, they, and look at Pretty that cool. attitude era style. They gave her those. Uh, <laughs> Holy cow. I guess I never really put that right? over in my mind. Yeah. From that view, wow. Jesus. Awesome. Very cool. Very great figure. Decent likeness. Autograph on back. Cool. Uh, this one, which not like that big of a star, but cool that we get, you know. Well, now you can do too, him versus too Taka. sexy, yeah. And he kind of justifies the Taka in the last set. The, the right? legs really are so short on this one, right? So like, little. And then I always drove me nuts that he has skin <laughs> showing on one right. leg, right? On every single one ever. Yeah. It's not like an error. I'd never, ever, that ever. Is very weird. I never. That's like that. that's like the artists who made this just not watching wrestling and just sticking to maybe like some weird reference. I don't even know how that's possible because he wore long tights. I just think it was an error that, that went all the way through, you know? Yeah. Uh, one thing though, like they have the two sexy molded onto the back. Why not paint that a little bit? I don't know. It's still cool, but obviously if it was popped with the, you know, it probably was cost cut to be honest. But the, the one thing about this figure, I can say the green makes it stand out. Like it's a very right. If you laid all your bendems in a pile, you'll see this one. Like, wow, it looks great, right, you know? Right. And I actually always dug Brian Christopher, but Me too. Cool. Weird, like, nipple slip I just realized here after all these years. <laughs> There's one <laughs> nipple. <laughs> one nipple. <laughs> like, what a weird figure, man. That is so weird. Uh, one nipple and, and one leg showing. Yeah. And I saved the most excitable for the last. Another guy making a return to the line, but in a completely different character. <laughs> this, this, this was yeah. so weird to me, but I loved it. Why is it weird? Because it's street clothes, and there's no other street but clothes all, in this entire set. Because when X-Pac comes, he's hurt, and like everything is like that, really, yeah, right? of course. So to and get him out- it was such an insane debut there's no, when he comes back. There's no gear to depict him on if you want to get him out as soon as possible. Yes. Do oh, I understand it, but it's, yeah. it's just interesting because it's the only street clothes- I person. love it. This is like that, that iconic return. Yeah. He's, it's the, he's got the jacket- uh, he's, he's a smaller dude, so the petiteness of this is not, you know. I, I really, it. really dig it. Yeah. One thing, you know, we talk about like the printing on the Cactus Jack shirt is barely there. You, this is a clear D Generation X. Like, everything's fine. You know, I don't understand like why they. Uh, okay. I see what Cactus you're saying. The, not a make or break thing for me. Pretty cool though. But yeah, for sure, the most exciting figure in this line by far. My, so my, that's my, my favorite. Of the my show. favorite oh, is definitely psh. Xbox. First landslide is, is all Xbox? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Xbox. Make some noise. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Series 10. Bangers. Pretty important, guys. Eh, no, bangers is... Mm. What? You're, you're There's no headbangers. No Mosh and Thrasher. There's but. no headbangers. Yes, you're wrong. Not, not the FWF Tag Team Champions, no. But we do have the most charismatic man ever steve blackman come on come on awesome listen for what it is i think it's fine <laughs> fine this is one of the best bandoms this is what? the best 
figure of a him. guy in black sweatpants of all time. <laughs> Look at him. He's great. I can say that. Ah, oh, I love it. Great likeness. Flat top. Hi, Hi Steve. Crazy yeah, I mean, the eyes. Like, the, like, the crazy eyes and the flat top are there. You do a nice arguably. karate kick? Hell yeah. yeah. yeah but let's, Come on. I love I mean, it. So tiny, though. Uh, all right. New Age Outlaws? Sure. Always Who are devastated with? by this plain black shirt yes. on the road dog. His, awesome, his do-rag looks like a beret. Now, I will say a positive thing is they do have the dreadlocks that the bone crunchers like almost want to ignore. Yeah. You know? Cool. So depending on when you get this. Road dog Jesse James. So tiny. Yeah. So they're clearly, you know, obviously we get X-Pac in DX in the previous set. So now we have we have the New Age Outlaws yeah. in DX and if you're playing with them six months later, they are full fledged DX. But you're, but this gear is like, I just there's just too much cost cutting here. Like nothing, nothing. on his pants, nothing yeah. on his shirt. A little too plain. Yeah, but I think they're much. both like when they first. He also, started, and even like the bone cruncher has. This is the thing we haven't pointed out yet at all. There's almost no such thing as a tattoo on a, a bendum. Right. And then he's someone who also has tattoos that like are pretty prominent on his bone cruncher and you know when you see him in real life even if so. it was his generic road dog on the chest that was I fake, would be it, so much you know? better right yeah yeah you're right and his partner way better figure wait hold pretty on know, this, can we go back to road dog something i just noticed sure. too what his right fist and hand has like molded on tape and his left is just like no no tape i think it's like what do you mean it's like triple h style but you don't know say like you see like the molding of the tape on the right and the left. Yeah, I see you're saying it should have that and not go the up. Yeah. Weird fig. Weird fig. Very tiny too. Like even it's like even smaller than Billy. Mm. I, I like the Billy. I like the Billy. No the headband. An- another one though, like nothing on the tights, bro. Yeah, no heart, no lip. Like, not, not even if it was just on the front. Yeah. But this, like I said, I was trying to say, I feel like this was like more of a depiction of like the bad guy. I just threw this. Uh, I mean, this is mankind this off is, the stage. They're about to join DX, is what these yes, guys are, in my exactly. opinion. But and, yeah, and when you're getting these and really playing with them, it, they're full fledged. So it's like really kind of an outdated look, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. But I was uh, happy I like to it. have the New Age Outlaws, who were my favorite act at the time. Oh yeah, big outlaw. Look at him from the side. Those hairs kind of just we- looks like a weird. <laughs> it's like, like in wig. the wind, right? Yeah. Right. It is I don't know. Yeah. Strange figures. And last but not least, we have our, our good old buddy, Uncle Adam. You Y'all don't like it. Edge. Edge, which actually the likeness is way better than the Bone Cruncher. Yes. Uh, painted I on like, necklace, which yeah, I always thought was They weird. went the extra mile with that painted on necklace. And he, like, uh, un- the rest of the set has no deco. He has, like, pretty, a decent attempt at deco, at least, like, all throughout his tight designs and stuff. They used all, mo- all the money. <laughs> Man, Maybe. Just a very plain, dull set to me. Yeah, this is this is like the death blow for me. Mm. I'm still in, I think. I think it might be the next set or two where I'm out. Okay. Uh, favorite in the set? Billy Gunn for me. Billy Gunn's the most fun overall. Steve Blackman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to change it up and say Edge. Oh, Leader wow. of the Edge heads. Cool. All right. I guess you're right. You know what? For a set kind of boring in the looks department but man i needed these guys i guess you got four new characters but man yeah. whew, they didn't yeah. try that hard yeah okay up to series levon uh and this is where i can say i do not recall like getting these or like caring about these and then i think i'm out psychopath this is it yeah okay who you got first broski all right, so this is where I see him at the shelves at Walmart, and like maybe I get him, maybe I—I I don't even remember. But I don't I, like, even, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm out. out. Yeah, I'm out. Like I don't, I don't remember like buying these or having them or caring about them, and it's pretty nuts for me how like deep I was into like wrestling fandom and collecting. Do uh, you want to go with Al Snow first? Yeah, which, which I think Al's the best in the set, man, because he's so unique. <laughs> I like the Al Snow. It's cool. He's wearing like the sweatpants. I wish, bro. He was there's here. no other bender like this. You know, you could do the the head. Yeah. You know, what else could you? Yeah. 
The only weird thing though is like, look at his arm. It's like the wrong forearm <laughs> on the wrong arm, right? He's got he's got two right arms, <laughs> right? It doesn't make sense. I mean, I know what they tried to do, and it's super unique. But it's like it's, he's holding it like you can't. He must have great shoulder rotation. Yeah, it's not. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I don't, yeah. I job like squad. Job shirt. squad. Yeah. I mean, I would have preferred Al in the tights, obviously, but yeah. It's I mean, cool. It's different. It's different. Yeah. His uh, hair also at this time is blonde, not this color, but eh, it does the trick. The I mustache think. could be that color, but not the hair. I don't think. Yeah. Help me on the head. The head. Also, I like it. they can't kick this one off the shelves because it's stuck to his hand. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. Um, it actually looks more like the head, unlike the uh, Jack's Bone Cruncher. Because that you was know? just like a reused <clears throat> doll part, right? Right, right. Yeah. So, full disclosure, for the next two sets, I know I had them, but I am pretty sure that Steve and I were no longer doing our fig fit. Oh, you guys oh, broke wow. up by this one. I think we. I think I moved on to like BCAs, and he wasn't... <laughs> playing with yeah. toys anymore so <laughs> but uh, i remember getting these uh next up actually uh, this is a really cool one too actually the godfather yeah. the cigar really like that's different man from other like toys and stuff yeah. over his heck here and, and he's got the yeah. long ass braids in the back unlike yeah. the bone cruncher that stop at his neck true i, I true. think these might be a little too long yeah 1999 um, the godfather it's great. It's got the molded on chain. No tats. No, that's a dude. It's crazy. No, there's no such thing as a bendum tattoo, right? Chicka, 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 chicka. Oh, uh, I do know one that we'll get to that has it. Okay, it's okay. Figure not bad. Sean, Sean in series three not having his tat sets the you know the yes. standard that yes. these, that's, these that's, ain't, these ain't that's a rule we set for our things. We said swaggle. Sorry, no tattoos to you, Brian. No tattoos for me. No tattoos. The Dan House and we had the one on the chest. He had to. Though, bit, he had like to. Almost, it wouldn't be like recognizable yeah. right, at that point. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about hello, ladies? It was do, do, over do, like do, Rover at this point, but this is I don't know unsatisfying depiction of Val Venus. I mean, the face um, is a little weird, but I, big I awesome was great. autograph on the back. There. His, his his micro bendum, which is very very rare, has like sunglasses like molded onto the head. What? Like not not on his eyes, but like on his you know like wearing them up. I oh, that's this, cool! Like a promo I wish shot. This was, yeah, I wish it that was would make this like a that. little more memorable. Yeah. 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 Very tiny. Look how like his legs are so tiny. I do think the face looks pretty good, look, like Val. It's decent. Yeah. Cartoon. Got the Val goatee for sure. And this Hello, this is a ladies. long time coming if you think about it, but we finally get a Vincent Kennedy McMahon crazy cartoony face. Oof. A little too cartoony for yeah, me. That is the best one light. of the worst faces. Yeah. Uh likenesses. Big, big awesome autograph, which this makes you realize his autograph has really deteriorated over the uh, years. It's just like a it's like a two he check barely, marks, right? He barely signs like this anymore, yeah. Well Vince McMahon, the the biggest heel in the biz at the time so good to have him yeah you absolutely need this big time but that does not look like vince mcmahon holy crap (sighs) it's like a mobster and like a (laughs) game it's a good guy from goodfellas um favorite of the set series 11 godfather i'm going with uh al snow i think i was gonna say al snow but after just looking at how messed up that figure is i'm gonna go godfather it's it's some more fun right Great yeah. figure. Cool. Can we just say this might be one of the most untoyetic sets of all time? <laughs> Series 12. Bendems is the worst set of Bendems that there is. Oh, mm. without a doubt. I without do a not doubt. have these. No. I don't even remember. Like, I have no recollection of these. So my Walmart, my Walmart stocked these sets. That's how I was finding these. So I was familiar with them. Uh, but... I was not getting it by oh this point. Oh, my God. I know Broski's found several things wrong with this already. Which one are we going with? Well, let's bring up Undertaker because I just looked at mine and I realized something as we go. First off, let's is he really a, Is bar- he a midget? Let's really bury this thing. <laughs> oh, my oh gosh. Oh, my God. Okay. There's the Paul Bearer that we already said was too small. Now they're basically... Well, That's yeah. the difference in height. It's so like, tiny. Now, like these figures are starting to shrink. Now, these if this Undertaker, unreal shrunken. If this was a bigger figure, it wouldn't be that bad. The likeness is pretty good. Oh, it'd be great. Uh, so mine, see a sideburn? 
Yeah. Okay. L- look at this sideburn. Whoa. Whoa. Let me see again. Oh, that's a that's just an error on your part. Yeah, I know. I just realized because, that as we because, were because I I have sideburn, sideburn. God damn you! Gotta get a new Undertaker now. Just... That is weird. Also, no autograph, just a big logo, which okay. is weird because we've seen Undertaker's autograph. A I feel times. like so all the. I was trying to like keep tabs on this. All the characters with no autograph are like the weird, scary guys that wouldn't be signing autographs, right? Okay, sure. Mankind has the logo. Man, mankind, Kane, 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 and now and, this Taker. And Ministry of Darkness. But this is under- evil Taker. Yes. Yes. I guess you're right. Yeah. As He's a baby face, he would. As a baby face, he would sign, but not as a heel. Rose, if this figure was, you know. A quarter bigger, it'd be pretty awesome, maybe, but it's not, and it's terrible. Yeah, he's got that uh, ministry goatee thing. Yep. No mustache uh, goatee. I sported his... that look for years. No oh, mustache goatee. So sorry to hear that. <laughs> making his third appearance in the Bendham line, Mick Foley. I dig this only because the Sacco and it's up in the air. Yes. But that's like the last nice thing I can say about this figure. So it looks skinny. like a really bad Play Doh. So... Um, oh, it looks like he's melting. Me. Yes, real bad. And, and it makes mask, me and the mask makes, and the hair are like the same color. It also makes me upset. No dude love. Yeah, also no dude love. Completely skipped, and this is just so petite compared to his other figures, and just it just bizarre. makes me feel like by this point, just toys. Like, all right, we're I don't not know catching up. We're this. not. We're not catching up to Jax. So let's just keep banging these. Out. It has a real mankind autograph though. By the way, we're still keeping tabs oh, wow. on that. Yeah. Uh, this one is actually hard to come by. And it's a little expensive when you find it. But the big boss man, he's far from big. The tiny boss man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like that he's holding the nightstick. I do. You I mean, I guess these last couple sets, they do make these like drastic departures. And then we kind of try to honor that with our Nick Gage, right? That's right. I think so. Then he's going to have the pizza cutter. But There is an unofficial variant with the boss man where. The type of paint uses is different, so you can see more of the the molding and detail of the face. So I, I don't even know which one you have or if you can what see the difference on mine. About? It's very if you saw the picture side by side, you could tell. It looks like me and you have the same one. Um, but there are like different versions with like just the kind of paint they use. So pretty, I don't count stuff like that. Pretty abysmal. I, I like it. I like that it comes with the sunglasses. I like that it comes with the nightstick. <sighs> it's another one. It could be if it was bigger and but more was like holding a nightstick like this. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it it's was like, more, uh, if it was more bigger and more imposing, maybe we'd have something. And now this is just, bro, unreal. Paul White, which it says in the back, by the way, horrible. The Big Show. Let's this guy is, guys. Let's Paul. keep in mind. This is the cuff giant. <laughs> Next, Next to Paul Bear. Bear. unreal. Bro, come on! But also wearing like the his catering clothes. That's but that we know that, that story. We know that he the infamous that he went to Toy Fair and like basically illegally took reference shots when he was still in WCW because he knew he was coming, and that's what he was wearing, and that's how they quickly pumped out his his merch. But this is atrocious. Yeah, this is oh, so. First, of all, it looks like the Crush Bendham. <laughs> And okay, so look at Jack's Bone Cruncher Series Nine, same outfit, but look how they just de- they destroyed oh, that big show. Yeah, I know. They look like big, a giant, scary, imposing giant. This is like this is horrible. Even within the set, I mean, we have Taker. He's a forehead bigger than him, and Taker's a giant. Yeah, mankind's this... eye to eye with him. Yuck! It's like there's just no attention to detail with this stuff, and it makes a right. difference. He's like right. almost the same size as Sable. <laughs> Not uh, a good figure. Yeah. Probably the worst. Last but not least, there is another figure in this set, a re release, rounding out to make it five. A complete repaint of Stone Cold Steve Austin, where it's the old Stone Cold Steve Austin, but they paint him as if he's in street clothes. Mm. Now, the, somehow the ba- it's p- passable. But this is not how it was supposed to look. It was supposed to look like it was in trunks and the Austin 316 shirt. And this is what we actually get, correct? Yes. And it's also let's the skull is supposed to be on the back is on the front. Yeah. Oh, the, the side has, jacket. Horrible. The back terrible, has nothing. Terrible. I don't I don't mind it because Austin did wear these skinny ass uh shorts. Oh right. no, yeah. I mean the tightest jean shorts of all. When you when you have th- at this point for it's been almost three years and you've had that white boots Austin and now you're finally yeah. getting like, you know, the rattlesnake. <laughs> you you take it. Yep. Right? But yep. I mean I but just look right there, Austin. Hey. Okay, Austin's towel, like 
towering over the big show. It's right. the they're using the old mold. That's yes. horrible in the horrible. same set. Ugh. Right. Hands down the best guy, though, in Ugh. this set, because this set sucks so much. I, I, I wouldn't count him as my one of my favorites in the set just because... He's not new. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with my favorite as uh, Boss Man. I think Boss Man's the only like one that you could say if he was like bigger, he'd be probably a Bendham you'd love. Right? Yeah, and I think also, Boss Man for me too. And also this Boss, like listen, we, we took these designings of Major Betty's very seriously and we're like, well, we can only give Nick Gage this pizza cutter and it, you know, since Boss Man has his nightstick. Yeah. And that was, so if it wasn't for Boss Man, we'd get yeah, the Al- pizza cutter. The Al, the Sako, and the Bossman are the ones that have those kind of exaggerated features well, that made well, us Sako, think it's okay. Sako's not really holding anything. That's really technically his arm. Like, it's but not that's, really an accessory. Dude, all these Bendems are in the same pose. You know, right, right, Except right, for these right, guys. True, true. Yeah. Whew, rough. This next, set little, is, this next set is kind of rough. I feel like it's a comeback compared to that, that set, though. Bro, to Who? Maybe know. to us diehards, but if you're yeah. a casual fan, you're like, what the hell fuck is this set? Yeah. Okay. This might Series yeah. 13. Mm. This might well, first of all, let's just say that this is the end of Bendems as we know it. Right. They do 14 and 15, and we'll get to it, and they're yeah. drastically different figures. Let's start off with a bang here. I think the worst Bendem of all time. <laughs> Shane McMahon. Bro, what? <laughs> He's possessed by a, a demon or something. His eyes are orange. It's kind of like Disco Inferno. Just, just blue, plain blue, blue dress yeah, Glenn shirt. Gilberti, blue dress shirt, tight dress pants that don't even look like dress pants. A skinny, petite, zero. When you think redeeming. about Shane McMahon at this time. That's certainly not what you're thinking. No. And like you could have given him like the X Punk jersey. Anything. You wouldn't even know this is a wrestling figure. Right. That's the thing. If this is in a child's bedroom on the floor, you're like, what? You would what think is it's this? like a, a dad in like a dollhouse <laughs> or something. Like, no way. Yeah. Terrifying. Awful. Not a good figure. No. This one I, I like because it. Oh, now I'm looking at it. What the? His hair was never what are you like this. At? Sorry. Darren Drozdov, aka okay. Draz. What I like about this, there's the tats, by the way, that I was alluding to. I like this Draz figure a lot, too. But it was his hair was not like this ever. Towards what? the end with the short hair, isn't it? Well, maybe. But what I like is that he's in his um, bikers, and we never ever got a figure depicting this era of him, you know, when he's kind of yeah. moved on from the puke thing. We only got the, yeah, so I do like that. It's a, it's I a don't unique think his look. Hair, his hair was ever like that in the back, though. I and didn't even know there was a Throwing it off. Th- these last sets, so tapped out, I didn't even know there was a draws figure until I started recollecting. I think someone. Said you guys should do a, a draws, and we said they did a draws. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They didn't, yeah. I do like the tats, like kind of like the Dan House, and he needs the tats. Yep. This is yes, and this is two thousand WWF Entertainment. By the way, and it has a WWF like Swish logo on there. So he gets injured uh, in, in two thousand. That's no, what, in yeah, th- That's what I thought. So, yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Mm. Yeah, wow. Because I I was there. I was there as well. Nassau Coliseum, yeah. So this comes out after that unfortunate incident. Wow. Yeah. Which um, very nice of it would be to honor that. Yeah. Speaking speaking of that unfortunate incident, D'Lo Brown. Oh wow! Jeez, coincidence. Um, Had a like TR. This. <sighs> this is just the likeness is brutal. His hair. You think the is likeness never, is brutal? I don't think the likeness is brutal. It's the, it's the hair. His hair painted this black. Was his hair was never like this? Ever. I think compared to both versions of the bone crunching action, D'Lo, it's a good likeness. Weird, I actually don't think I liked this. I like this. weird attempt at like deco of his tights. I, I also like this is post nation. You know that part the same as the draws. This yeah. is the only D'Lo ever like this, right? Depicting this era of his career. Right. I don't know if it's a part that like you know is glorified at all, but right, yeah. You I mean, we got love, it. You would have loved the chest protector D'Lo. Oh yeah, I actually want to do that. Yeah. Do you think D'Lo has this figure him. in his collection? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's cool. Yeah, I like it. Uh, better than next, better than nothing. Next up, it's like the opposite. You know, it's like Bob's looking at the rest of the set and says, "Old thing sucked." <laughs> uh, hardcore, hardcore Holly. Hardcore Holly, baby. This one's not Best bad. One. Not bad. Not bad. Needed in two thousand. He's much in the fold. Very yes. entertaining character on TV. I think this one had the most effort. 
in the, the set. The hardcore holly, the outline of the logo is it, molded. It, it, it pops. It's there. I mean, I like it. He's still just little, too tiny, obviously, tiny. but they all are. And the uh, wild card number five, the best one for sure, which counts big time. Austin 316 in the jeans. Ooh, Austin, let me 316. let me go see if I have that. Uh-oh, hold on. You Wait. guys keep talking. Uh-oh. Oh, this is getting good. <laughs> oh, no. We don't, keep, we don't need to keep talking. This is I have. I definitely have both of them. Uh, I love that Austin. It's right in the front of my Bendham display. Not yep. that that matters. I think it's I mean, my favorite Austin figure. It's it's great. That's Attitude Era Austin. Yes. Raising hell, stomping mud holes. This is what you need, man. I'm not saying you need The other to one have... was great, but we like we said, it's in a kind of like a fantasy shirt. Oh, it's stupid. This, this and is I'm an not iconic saying that you shirt. need to have uh, both Bretts, but I am saying you need to have both of these Austins. Yes, absolutely. Broski's looks long in the face here. Got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. He got it. He's okay. good. He's I knew good. you did. I think you were let the me, person. Let me, let me see your Austin 316 again. Can you hold that up? Font could be better. <laughs> looks like a yeah, little that, kid drew it. Do we both? Yeah. Oh, we both have the shitty font. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. just the way it goes. Yeah. Broski's font looks very. De- it literally looks hand drawn. Yeah, it does. Mine, ah. mine looks like my my daughter did it. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right. Favorite in that set. Hardcore Holly. Yeah, I think Hardcore Holly wins because he's got the most effort put into him. It feels like. I'm going with Draws. I'm gonna switch it up. Ooh, wow. Okay, cool. Darren Draws the puke. He's got a puke. He's got a puke. He's got a puke. I mean, that lives on forever, right? <laughs> You gotta love the new major wrestling figure podcast figures with real wrestling action. Yeah! Watch out for the reboot. Ah! Here comes the roster cut. Radio silence. Heat seeking elbow for the major victory. Now you can be the Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen of Wrestling Figure Collective. Or create your own major moment with these two new figures and the new referee. And don't forget about evil Smart Mark Sterling. And your winner, Smart Mark. In your dreams, Mark. It was us all along. That's right, all the Matt and Brian figures now feature interchangeable heads. Scratch that figure eight. Order now for ringside collectibles. So close to the real thing, it's like being in the ring. All right, so let's backtrack a little bit. This we didn't talk about these. <laughs> I mean, we alluded to them. <laughs> series ten and series eleven, Austin. Austin and Still Rocker, in mega the light. stars. They yeah, get we, released we a trillion times. That the three sixteen shirt, the skull shirt, they're all like intertwined it, and just some of like, these are it's just pla- too confusing. You they're know, they're placed in these assortments, and honestly, we don't know. Right, exactly how it was distributed. Yeah, yes. and again, obnoxious that we're in 1999 or whatever. Let's look at the white boots and the white boots. Yeah, come on. When they come on. clearly know how to repaint a figure. All right, so series all right. 14. Series 14 is where all changes. I have zero recollection of these. Me too. I think they went to like Dollar Generals and stuff, and not like they weren't at KB or Toys R Us or they certainly anymore. weren't where we lived. Right, you right, know? yeah. It was like you a, know, it's like a different line. The, the, I, well, that goes without saying. Completely, like, I, I, I feel like it's kind of like BCA versus Titantron or something like that. They're yeah, like, same company but like a new line. So, two thousand series fourteen. Let's start with Rock. Likeness is brutal. No knee pads. I think the likeness does, is okay. Yeah, I does, I, have, I don't does have the cut in the boot, it's which is the, shocking. Like the just bring it hand and the punch hand, which I like. I don't know if that's by design. No, they all have. They all have that. Okay, okay. That is it. unique, though. But no. Now that I'm I, looking at it, yeah, I don't know. Uh, when you're looking no, at it, no, regular, no as, logo on the back, no knee pads. Big, nice rock signature, though. But comparing it to the rest of the Bendems, it stinks. But it's like, not, to, it's to not a Bendem anymore. Standalone thing, like, oh, okay, they're starting a new line. It's a totally different. It almost reminds me of the the WCW. Uh, Bendable figures that were around the sure. same time. Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah you you're right. Could have yeah. your own fig bed there. That's right. Two, that's 2000. But the cool thing is you do get some more new characters. Like this, I have a whole other theory. The Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff. Yep. This is a shocker of, to me. Okay. F- hear me out on this. Yep. 
They're molded on the back, right, with their autographs, Matt and Jeff. Right. These figures are clearly in tights. So were they going to make like the one and only flower gear? I don't think so. Come on, man. I don't think so. I just think that. How do you put these guys in tall boots? I I, I just think they weren't going to make pants. Look at the size of their quads. Uh, They were never over enough to get them the the flower. This sculpting's all unique to itself. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just think they were too like like oh the black black long tights and boots will work. Man, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Well. Now that I'm thinking about maybe didn't their even their long tights were like bell bottom and went over their boots anyway? Yes. Like, I can't right? So yes. maybe what's maybe really maybe weird is that, like if you look at the Hardy Boys, like next to These are Jericho, terrible. Just terrible. Well, let's 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 talk about the the Hardys for a second. These are like the brood look. The Jeff has the armbands, which is cool, but yeah, they don't with the look. holes. I mean, that's the big difference, right? Jeff's hair is being blonde and having the holes. And, and the Jeff has like dirty blonde hair, which I like. You know, and the shirt. The one nice thing I can say, they did try to make the shirt like the way it was, like yes. it has different shades and yes. stuff. But these figures absolutely suck. What's mm. What's so interesting about this? Okay, so let's talk about Chris Jericho right now. <sighs> yep. Okay. Uh, before we talk about him, put your Jericho next to your Jeff Hardy side by side. If yep. you look, it's like they had one mold that they altered because, like, the boots are the same, the legs are the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but the. I see you're saying like Jericho could be in trunks, but he's not. And they apparently refuse to put knee pads on anybody. But like oh, even the cuts, weird, yeah. Even the yeah. cuts are the same. Like the abs are completely different though in the chest. But but look at the, but look at the lower body. The the lower body yeah. is identical. The wrinkles in the trunks are identical. Can you show me like the Jericho versus like any a regular bendum? Here, here, here's Jericho oh, versus a Vince. I mean, Vince isn't yeah. even a regular bendum though. Sure. Vince is like. Along lines of where they start getting altered, but there it's right. not even close. Right. Yeah, skinny. Look at that likeness on Jericho. <laughs> not. Oh my wow. God, it's, it's got the goatee thing, but yeah. All right, very weird. <laughs> I, oh wow! I mean, lion on the boots is cool. I I, listen, I I dig it. I dig it, but I didn't know these yeah. were. A thing. I never saw these in stores. Didn't even know about it until I became like an adult collector and did my whole due diligence. That is series fourteen. What is your favorite figure? The Rock. Do- Ugh, no knee pads. I'm Come doing on, the the Hardys because are these the first Hardy Boy figures? Then do they beat it's out the double the slam? double slam? I don't know because because I have no time to because I didn't right. even know these existed. So I don't. Right. It could be though. Um, I'll go with Jericho just because I was such a Jericho holic when he came in. I was as well. But I'm going later. Hardys. All right. Here it is, the Death Blow, the final regular series, Series 15. Uh, By the way, uh, we mentioned the history of Just Toys. At some point, the company stops making everything but WWF Bendems. On the the last bunch of waves or whatever, I don't know if it corresponds with Series 13 or whatever it is, it's the only thing that they're working on. And, and some, also keep in mind that WF is so hot that they can do that. Mm, yeah, you know? True. Yes. Um, so we are 2000, series 15. Great set. Uh let's let's backtrack a little bit. Series uh 14, pricey. Yeah. 60 upwards of a hundred dollars a piece now. If you're trying to find those pieces put those together in your collection. These good luck, uh, my friend. Good. Even good if you luck. wanted to buy them. You couldn't. You can't because they don't, and, they're not there. Uh, um, well, let's say first The Rock is re released, straight up re released. Rock is in the set, the same exact figure, so I don't right. even really count it. Right. I don't have another one. Rakishi, Series 15. I mean, we're talking about one of I the biggest. I love it. I love Come it. Come on, bro. Rakishi, <laughs> look at that ass. That's not look doing Rakishi justice. Look at that justice. ass. Not doing him justice. Face is not um, at least he has knee pads. First, first guy to have knee pads. In this but, new, I mean, we'll talk about design. this. Like, okay, so let's compare him to like the Vince. Like Vince is way bigger than Rikishi. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he's this Rikishi's short and not big enough. It's just a new style, and you know when we did our major bendies, we were sure we wanted to 
recreate the series one style. That was our favorite style. That cartoony, luxury, muscular I think that's like the way style. you got to go. Yeah, there's nothing. I, of course, I have no sentimental value to this style because I didn't even know it existed. But it's just not. There's not anything like redeeming about it to me either. Mm. Right. Right. There's the quiche man. Uh, next up, beat me if you can't survive. If I let you. Oh yeah. He's the only other uh, tattooed bendem. Him and Draws. Very interesting. Taz. I think that figure looks great <laughs> as you hold it's, it up. It's not bad, but I just realized also, look how little Rikishi is compared to Taz. <laughs> That's crazy. And Taz's the face kind of looks like Perry Saturn more than Taz, but... Yeah. And now, I know I also have all these... this for a reference point. We haven't pointed out yet how drastically different the packaging became. Uh-huh. Certain still's things... Got the, still's got the Bendham, like... Uh... It still has the Bendham guy, and it does have the card. So, So what's so drastically different, you mean? Like the design is finally gone, but it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's, it's got, got the... like a die cut corner. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, they kept the 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 cartoon and the card. That's about sure. it. Sure, right. Yeah, it's a minty Taz. I have series fifteen. Now, now hold that up for a second. You, it shows the WWF damage right there. Yes, in the back I have that. I have that right here. I can show it since we we're talking about it right There's here. There's a little chichi of the rest of the set, by the way. So it it this is cool because it comes with. Like it's like this mini, like a mini ring, but it's it's actually kind of almost better than the one. That's bigger than I actually ever right? thought. I never saw that in person. So, so like than I ever you thought. know, so it comes. There's different versions of them. So I believe there's an Austin that comes with the Triple H. Austin uh, and Vince, I've seen. Austin right? and Vince, uh, Austin and Rock. So Austin they're and all, like Hunter Hearst Helmsley, not Triple H, right? Oh, that's that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So they're all they're all re releases, but it's cool. It has that the trash can. Uh, it comes with a ladder. It comes with a dumpster, which is really cool. Now, this is a really cool piece. It comes with this chair where you can like clip it onto their wrists so they can actually hold it. I mean, that's smart because, yeah, how else would you, know? you do that? I never so, never saw that before. Wow. Wabam, wabam, yeah. wabam, wabam. Wow, okay. So I like that. You know, so yeah. I, I think if we do any accessories, I want to do a chair just like this. I guess. It's, you have to. That is a. Uh... Couldn't be further down the line, but interesting, interesting. Uh, um, I do not own the next two examples in this set because they are so elusive. I'm, I'm oh, attempting. So, so can you say, Matt, Mr. Michael Jordan, can you please? MJ, can you please bestow upon us yeah. uh, Too Cool? Well, let's start with Grandmaster Sexy himself, Brian Christopher, his make, second figure. Se make it his second appearance, which is pretty cool. Um, I love this figure now for what it is. Now I understand it's smaller than the other Ben. Yeah. But look, he's got like the hair, like the fake dreadlocks. He's got the do rag, the Rikishi's, goggles, the glasses. Rikishi's terrible. At least Taz and Too Cool are kind of fun. Mm. I don't think Rikishi's terrible. Rikishi's I like. Terrible. I, I don't think it is. Is it? It is either. He, even it's if it's got, a different style, he's got to be heavier than that. Okay, I'll agree with you on that. Yeah, that uh, Grandmaster Sexy is fun. The back says Grandmaster Sexy. And also shoots you in the foot of your theory of like why the Hardys don't have baggy pants because he's got baggy pants. That's very true. Um, yeah. I, I don't understand. Uh, a lot of these have like the the like the just bring it hand in a fist. I They're both like op like an open hit doing the Macarena yeah. and then a uh, closed fist. Yeah. Uh, another Scotty to Hottie. Great, They're, great they are figure. Fun. They're, They're fun. They're fun figures. Yeah. Uh, it's got the you know the hair the 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 hair coming out of the hat. It's got the chain. It says Scotty to Hottie on the. That's back. pretty great. Yeah. It's great. Uh, I I I love it. I mean, this is too cool to me. Like these, even this whole set of five is to me. It's like this is like Rumble two thousands. Like Taz debuts, Rock wins. You have that big too cool dance. The too cool dance off. Yeah. So yeah. you know, it's just a great great set. But that's that's it. It's over for the Guys, main line. The value on those, forget about it. Min on Insane card value. Really forget about it. Even loose, you're spending hundreds of hundreds of dollars on any of them. So um, pretty wild. The rock is the easiest to get because you can get 14 and count it. Yes. You know, but even that's like a hundred dollar figure. Yeah. Which so, is crazy. Yeah. Uh, do you want to get into the the weapon set? Well, I was going to say my favorite is Taz just because I'm big Taz, Mark. My favorite in this set is definitely Taz as well because same reason. I was yeah. there at Royal Rumble. Uh, I had a, a Taz out with two Zs because I was a smart mark. 
not you, Smart wow. Mark. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. I love it. And I love that he yeah. has the uh, the tattoos. Yep. So. Cool. All right. So weapons, gear, gear. This is Bendems. Another thing that uh, we didn't know. How, I didn't know. I don't know if you guys knew, but I didn't know these happened either because I wasn't collecting and I didn't. I did not. They, weren't, they were not on my radar. Eventually, started releasing a line called Gear, and there's two sets, and each figure comes with a certain accessory, basically along the lines of what Matt just showed in the damage set, same kind of stuff. Uh, I we also don't really have concrete evidence of like how these are distributed either. I was about to say, I was hoping you had some some. So I have them all, I believe, but I don't know like what the order is. There's you know? more. And they're re-releases, but I'm going to count the eight unique ones. Is that what you have? Uh, uh, we'll find out. I don't even okay. know. We're going to find out right now. Right off the bat, because it's so friggin' weird, and I just want to talk about it. <laughs> Bro, look at his quads. Uh. Those are the baggy pants we put over a couple segments ago. <laughs> now not painted oh, on a figure God. in trucks. Triple H. Dude, I think this could have been kind of saved by painting the knee pads, which makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Right. Not to do. But then, I mean. Even the H, though, looks like a little kid drew it. Because it's going over the belt buckle. My God. It's a mess. It's just oh. a mess. Yeah. It's so bad. It's unreal Who's bad. Who's in the meeting I know deciding that. this? I think they just still have the license and they have the molds and it's Attitude Era That's and products cool. flying and they're just like. So yeah, so like make, some of the weapons it. these guys come with are like a ladder. Uh, they there's like the chair. The chair is actually cool. Like a it's actually a foldable chair. Uh, I dig that. Comes with a a you know a trash can with the the lid. So it's cool. I guess you know it's yeah. different. But like you said, you can't. It's really hard. They don't have any like kind of C grip or anything. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Right. Uh, this one I don't hate. It's in person. You have to really get a gander. It's a repaint of the rock. And his but expensive but shirt. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. He doesn't come out on a, a regular card. I think he does. He might. I There's think so like, many re-releases. Right. I can't get. But I feel this like for he sure comes, comes out, in gear. Right. I think he also comes on a regular card. You might be right about that. And I think but. one of those Austins comes in a gear set. Yeah, that too. Which right. I'm not counting because it's right. really, yeah. Right. Um, but I mean, there's some funny stuff like you know you see he's supposed to be wearing dress pants, but he's got the boots and knee pads. Well, you see he's got elbow pads. His, his elbow pads under the shirt, but like to like maybe if I'm holding it like this far away, yeah. you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. But as you have it in your hand, it's like a fake collar. <laughs> I mean, nipples. I, I, it's like nipples you, through the shirt. It's like if you would have customized the figure. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, but this is a mass release figure. Which it's is nuts. it's it's so bad. It's good. I think. Uh, I think. The only one that's really like has redeeming qualities is the cane here with the flip colors. Okay, I, I dig that one as well. I don't think you're gonna have anyone really complaining about that. It's just kind of yep. pops, toyetic, cool, doable uh, at that time in 2000. So there's another rock in gear, but the, again, they just paint the other rock figure. Oh wait, I was gonna go all the regular ones and then go to the oh, that okay, style. Okay, sorry, and sorry, the last sorry. last gear of the regular ones that's unique is Road Dog, and we. Buried this figure a couple segments ago. But this one look, makes look, it so much cooler. Oh, oh my look what god! Look, look what a simple little deco just did to this thing, man. Way, Way better. better figure. Yeah, love it, love it. So for you, you think if you're going to com- be a completist, you need the different characters in the gear yes. sets. But the re-released, re-released does not count. No, different deco. I counted. Give me yes. one example of like a re-released one that's in the gear. Like those Austins, those in, the Austins. Shir- in, the, in the shirts. One of those yeah. are in these yeah, sets. For yep. sure. Okay. Uh, and then as Broski got to, then the new style guys are in it. But this is just as nuts because this was, we just showed this rock was in trunks, but now it's in the shirt. This was a little better because it doesn't have the elbow pads. Yeah. And then actually the no knee pads kind of helps us in yeah. sort of in a way. Yeah. Belt buckle painted on. He still looks ridiculous. like your dad, but like younger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah um, uh the hardys now we're like team extreme hardys though but, okay but what i like about jeff even hardys, has some weird streaks in his hair what i like about these hardys is that they like painted the, the, the pants look like pants it's so ridiculous like minimal effort whoa yeah um and then last but not least 
Chris Jericho. Which I like. I, this tight design's way better. Pops I like a lot it too. More. I like it yeah. better too. Yeah. I like it way better too. Mm. Um, so what's your favorite from, from these? Let's look, I'm going to go look. Road Dog since we buried that other Road Dog so bad. And Road, uh, Road Dog was one of my favorite Attitude Era stars. And this one's got way more Wait, excitement did we, going on. Did we do favorite for Series 15? Yeah. yeah, we all said Taz. Taz. Okay, I didn't, but I'll say Taz. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kane in the reverse colors. I mean that one is toyetic and cool, but I, I'll go oh, to Road Dog. What, what a sad end to uh, a great li- that line that started out so so great. Now, um, do you have the ring to show us, bro? Well, yeah. Let's talk about some things. We're not gonna go through every little thing that they ever made, but let's also let's mention that they did re-release these figures in little baggies called Champions. Yes, and that's and then, like. All over the place. It's guys like from every series almost. Right. Just yeah. Uh, those was, I remember those were at like KB liquidation yes. stores and yes. they were like I want to say a dollar ninety nine. Maybe a uh, dollar. There, there were famous fights two packs. Let's not and some of those these are, are very some of those are very eye catching. They're cool. Like, they're, like they're, Brett, they look cool, Brett but Austin and this cool two pack and but uh, Ahmed and Farouk and this cool two pack. Right, but they're ju- they're all re releases. Yes, I think uh, yes. Then there's like that that power slam pack we mentioned earlier. There's it's a seven. It's, it's right. a KB exclusive seven figures, and then um, they screwed little Brian Myers by releasing the Paul Bearer in that when I thought I was getting an exclusive Paul Bearer. <laughs> um, there's a couple other box sets. We're not going to get to every box set. I mean, like that's not we're not doing that kind of history. You know, what I'm isn't saying? there a very very rare series one box set? There is. Then there's one that like I've never even seen that in real there's, life. There's it, it's the original prototype comes with like pogs that the pogs were never released. Okay. So it's just like four guys. There's like a, a I want to call it DX, but it's not DX, but it's it's it, it's not called DX, but it's DX in a pack. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Okay. Um, let's not. I don't think we should have forget about these. The Stretchums. Yeah. So Just Toys has the license. Yes. So these Bendoms are very, very early. They're, they're bread and butter. This is this is. I think simultaneously released with them, right. right? So there's Luger on the back. It says Macho, Razor, Yoko, Doink. A Macho would have been f- awesome. Damn. Wow. Bro, that's why I think we can get Macho Major Bendy. He fits the timeline. This is the proof right here. <laughs> right there, yeah. What do you mean? He's on the back of the no, box. No, I'm, a, I'm agreeing with you, Broski. Um, so the Brett comes out. I mean, these are these are the shits. You know what I'm saying? They're actually better than the Playmates. No, the, well, no. yes. Uh, but <laughs> the Playmates the, the, are so bad. The, the Razor, yeah. uh, Yoko, Doink, don't come out. There's, there's in a magazine. There's a picture of Diesel and Razor, like with their prototypes. They never, never got out. past uh, the prototype stage. Uh, speaking of something that never got past the prototype stage, let me get it. They were gonna make wrestling buddies. So here's the big daddy cool diesel. There was going to be Brett Hitman Hart. We're not going to get there was supposed to be some role playing sets. We're not going to get into all those things. There was the the micro bendums. At the end, At they the start making end. these micro bendums, which I did have. So I did. Yeah, I'm going to mention I two of them because I think they're I just said two but hell of one. I'm going to mention two of them because I think they're important. <laughs> mention two of them, guys. Just two. Okay? Yeah. Kurgan the interrogator. Mhm. I'm mentioning him because everyone else they made a real size bend. Real up. size, and he does not. Yes, which so is Kur- Kurgan the interrogator. Yeah. Interior, interrogator. Kurgan the interrogator. Interrogator. A, you know what I heard for the first time? Did you know this is? The, I don't know. Tommy Dreamer told me that the reason Kurgan became like the oddities Kurgan mm-hmm. is because he was like dancing with his wife at a WrestleMania party, and Vince like, oh god damn it, we need him dancing. I mean, I, I <laughs> a million percent believe that story. I believe that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other one, and it's so rare, I haven't even opened yet, is a mini Gangrel. And wow. it's in, in one of these weird neck wrench minis. And he's like he's somebody pile that driver. fits the timeline and never got one, which is a shame. It would have been really right. cool. Damn, you need a Gangrel bendy. Yeah. Of those mini Bendoms, I always thought, how did we not get a repainted Shawn Michaels in this whole run? Because there's a, there's there's one up there. You know, in the in the mini Bendom, there's a... That's what I'm saying. Right, that right. mini Bendom makes me think, like, how do we not... Wouldn't you love a... Uh, in your house, DX repainted Joe oh, Michaels. Yes. Oh my god, I would love that. Hundred yeah. uh, percent. There's also a set called uh, Raw Material with just accessories. Uh, but what I think is very important here is this Super Slam ring, which I didn't even think was real. I cannot find it right now. The only the only things I'm missing are too cool and this ring for my collection. Okay, 
Now, it com- my particular set comes with Austin and Rocky Baivia. Which is... And it says includes Paul Bearer. But you've never opened it? I've never opened it. Are we going to open it right here, right now? No, we are not. <laughs> um, what, why are you teasing us? And uh, it has, it's a collectible case, the, the, the WF storage compartment. But this is, is there a, a year on that? 99? 99. It's on the back of a lot of the packaging. That, it's on the back of so many of them. Yeah. Which in collecting all these, this is like blowing my mind. Like, why is this so hard to find? Speaking of the back of the packaging, we got to talk about this. The electronic body slam bendums where the figures are slightly different. Do you have any of those, Brian? I have them all. So these, I think within the past year, I realized were what they were because in my mind, I always thought they were mini bendums because they make mini bendums where their arms are in the air and they do all right. these goofy things. I never knew they made full size ones. Right. So I got all, I made sure I got all of them. I got Austin here. Mm-hmm. The Rock. There's just hands in the air for people listening. The Put full your size, hands in the air. Full size bendums, their hands are fully in the air, and they come with like a contraption that helps them do so like a the, body it, slam. Here it is. Undertaker, it's a, Rock, Austin. I completed the trio. That's all there is. So here it is it in super package. Bizarre. I don't have the Undertaker. Mine, it's weird because it's so random. It has like Austin and Rock, right? But then on the side, just like Triple H and Xbox. Yes. So it's, like, so it's essentially a four pack, the electronic body slam. Uh, and then, like, to give you the timetable, back here it shows, like, the Cactus Jack, all those sets. But I don't remember ever seeing these. No, same. I also, like I said, I know the mini Bendoms had the arms up, and that's what I thought for years these were. And then I actually, I think when I was starting this collection, I saw, like, a lot, and I could tell by them all being together, like, in a row that they were the same size. And I was yeah. like, Hold on a second. What? Right. Yeah. If anybody has that Undertaker, I need it. That's the one. Yeah. I, that's the only one I'm missing. So, um, I mean, listen. What what would be gun to your head? Favorite Bendem all around. You got one Bendem. <sighs> Who are you picking? Man, that's a tough question. Favorite Bendem. Favorite Bendem <laughs> all tough. lines. Diesel. Hey. I'm going with Diesel. Me too. Just because of what it it meant for the continuation of that. You need sure. It. But I, I, I love Ahmed Johnson and Stone Cold, too. I'm going to stick to my guns. I want to say Sean, but I'm going to go Pink Brett. The real wow. deal first wow. Pink Brett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going Diesel, baby. Really fun line um, that will be continuing in our hearts of us and our fans <laughs> with the Major Bendies. Can we show talk? off Major <laughs> Bendy Series 1? When you start a toy line, what do you need? You need star power, right? <laughs> so you got to go to a guy who's been in Muppets Most Wanted. Oh, man. A man who's been in six WrestleManias. Mr. Dylan Swaggle Postel. I love it. I love it for so many reasons, but the uniqueness of it, obviously because of its stature, absolutely rules. Um, the carding. To stay true to the classic line, you know, I feel like we did our best, even with the character card in the back. Yeah, and let, let's give a big shout out to Kinnick, who brought us his idea, uh, TTD for the artwork. We wanted it to be as original as possible, but also we understand now a lot of loose let them breathe collectors. So you can slide that right out of the package, put it back in uh, a lot of a lot of. Blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of hard work, and a lot of money went into making these. Um, but we hope we you love them. Stay true to the autographs in the back. The bendableness. I mean, it's pretty cool. Deco hits all over the place. That Swaggle logo. Yeah. It's, Just it's a lot a of fun. One. Very talented TTD to, uh, designed all these and put up with our, you know, fixes and critiques and just knocked it out of the park with each and every one of these. And I got to give uh, Kinnick credit for, for getting these out before Christmas. We did it. Uh, the first uh, wave sold out instantly. Hopefully if you're listening to this on Christmas, we put up uh, the second batch of series one major So get those uh, series two coming out very, very soon, uh, which is Adam bomb, Brian Pillman, 
Nick Gage and Dan Housen, and the My World with Conrad Thompson and two Jeff Jarrett's. So make sure you get those. The missing links, which we're going to try to do, you know, as this line evolves, you know, do the ones that could have been, should have been. Yeah, because everybody also, always said I needed a smart Mark Sterling. And uh, <laughs> obviously the, the modern day ones, you know, we need to get Moxley to sign so we yeah. can beat the crap out of this smart Mark. Now, really Bra- cool, really fun. Brian, we should let them know that that Mark was kind of the the uh, you know the crash test dummy, you know, like yeah. the guinea pig, if you will, because we're like, all right, well, if this doesn't work out, and there's a smart Mark prototype out there, okay, we'll give it to Mark, but there can't be just a Matt or a Brian, not the other one, because it was a pact we made, which it was like yeah. if we can if we couldn't get this done and it couldn't be true to the line, like you know, be a real Bendum that bend it was bendy and felt like a Bendum. These things smell like a Bendum, yeah, you know. Uh, so that was the deal we made, but thank God we were successful because there is a Matt and Brian. Uh, they rule. I'm so pumped about this. I mean, we had these, you know, in the pipeline for so long that I knew I was going to wear this gear at Battle for Glory and right. at FWF Live. So, like, way ahead of time. And obviously, TTD designs our gear as well. So it's pretty easy to do. I said, no, oh, man, do it in that gear. And that way it's a little more even timely. Like, if these are in people's hands right now and it's December, I debuted that gear at at an October pay per view, right? Uh, so so here, here's here's my prototype. This uh, this resin prototype is all clear, and then we got like the I, I never step. got one of those. You didn't? No. Oh well, then we got like the next uh, one. I maybe said, I do in a box. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm we got the next one. I said uh, needs to be a little more tan. <laughs> so I got the the tan version. The Br- Lebrowski tan. There you go. You got it. Uh, but then of course I have the actual uh, finished product, which I absolutely love. Um, it's cool because you know. We give you the card as well. You don't have to cut out the card. We give you the actual card. Our, so every- look, our card can slide in and out of the packaging. Oh, for sure. So. But I'm just saying like the, the actual card. You don't have to cut your card. And right. It. Yes. Right. So I, I absolutely You could if you this. want to, by all means, but you don't have to. But, like just to compare some scale to you right here. You know, like right now here, I got this cane at, at my disposal. It's it's. Look at this. It's exactly now, and a even Series this 1 Venom. Yeah, this cane's a little smaller than a Series 1. So, like, they're in line. It towers over a Matt Hardy. But that, 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 we're not trying to compare. Yeah, to yeah, no. Mm. We, we wow. wanted to stay true to the Series 1, and that's what we're going with. So, Yeah, the cartoon faces, the, the gear that's at the most. I mean, it's accurate, but not super accurate, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who are some guys that you'd like to see hypothetically that that should have been made in the Benny's line that maybe we can make? And then there are some guys like I, look, I would love a dude love. We can't make dude love. He is a legend. Yeah, of deal. course. Yeah, you know, at, at the moment, right? You can never say right. never to some right. of these things. Um, Gangrel. Gangrel is a big, big one for me because like he was an Attitude Era star and he didn't get it. And he doesn't have a lot of figures like period for how toyetic he is and how he's like just. So memorable to wrestling fans, you know, the music, the look, the blood, so right? I'd the love miss to do of the that. shirt. Yeah, for sure. I would love to do like headbangers. I would love to do headbangers big time. I mean, um, fans of Brian Myers and Extreme Conversations know that I have ready to rock in my mind so many ECW guys to throw into the fold, which I think would be so much fun. I mean, uh, after I'll, seeing like that Macho Man on the back of that stretch. Mm-hmm. Who like guys? Who knows if he was like supposed to be in series, like one of the series, like who knows if this is drawing somewhere? I know that well, we'd love to uncover some more stuff like that, right? Yeah, so mm. I would love that. I mean, we just yeah. found the ring thirty years later. What else is out there? Right? Yeah, pretty wild. Fun, um, fun time. So uh, people, if you think WCW two at the time, like Disco Inferno, you get, like yeah. th- this is all the same time period for right. Attitude or, Era, and and even the I, I like the idea of like. We can do anyone, you know, an, an Effie to beat the crap out of Matt Cardona, you know, wherever you want. I, yeah, because we what we really want to do is like the, the current indie stars of today, as well as guys who got missed in the line. Uh, somebody I would really like to do is a referee. We never got a referee. Not a bad idea. You know, good brothers think, and Heath. Bay Bay. Yeah, you never know. So if there's somebody you want to see in the major bendies line, two things: a, make sure the the major bendies that we make sell out, so we keep making more. And <laughs> that, b, that, that guys, more. guys, that would be the first thing. Yes, yeah. if you want to, you know, support this line and see more and see what we can do with it, support it financially. <laughs> Put yeah, your money I mean, where your mouth is. Yeah, because maybe, if we don't, that's yeah, it. It's gonna be. It. It's gonna it, for sure. It'll be the My World set in series two because we've already gone so far, but. You know, we want to we want to make this a real deal thing. So I want this to be such a success that I make that ring that we make that ring. 
Well, with the blueprint, roll. with the exact posts and yeah. buckles. Sure. Uh, so completists could use it for their just toys so we don't have to use that stupid carrying case. But Very fun, very sentimental time in my, my wrestling fandom, and Bendems will always kind of hold that spot. So I'm, I'm proud of us, and I'm happy for us to like kind of keep it going on. It's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome, guys. I Thank you for... Thanks for watching, listening, and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. We did it again. We're always delivering free stuff on Christmas morning. All right. Peace. See ya.